drunk every night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could crank up a night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light If I can make it, if I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire, I could crank up a night If I can make it, if I try to draw the red light All right. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right. Call of the Wild, the Angler. Here in South Africa. Fantastic. I'm excited about it. Hopefully some of you out there are as well. Lots of cool fish out here. Um, I meant to have my first look video done, except I had a bit of scope creep going on. I was... Uh, I had an idea of what I wanted the video to be, and then it kind of evolved into a little bit more, and then there were some uh, issues with recordings, and all you should know is I'm about a quarter way through that first look, <laughs> and instead uh, put out those videos about the reserve music, and the reserve intro video, and the dino park, um, just, just for some fun, and we are right in front of the dino park right now as well, so, yeah. Call the Wild the Angler, South Africa. What species are there? Well, lots of fun ones. And I've caught a good number of them, so I do know where a good amount of them are. However, I don't really have the gear to go after super big ones. Um, so uh, we're slowly getting larger as time goes on, but African shark tooth catfish, got a mottled eel, we got different kerpers, uh, I guess is a term for tilapia, um, and stuff like that. Uh, and whatnot, purple labio, red nosed labio, moggle, African tiger fish, largemouth yellowfish. We thought the yellowfish would be added in, um, but yeah, should be cool. Fish, fish, has some optimization issues. Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> Dark boy, yo, angler is free for all on Epic Games. That's that's exactly right, though. That pretty much only means PC, right? You can't get Epic Games on your Xbox, correct? Tell me this, like I don't know console stuff, so if you can get Epic Games on consoles, that's that's pretty cool, but I didn't think it was possible. Bye. Always so stuttery for you, low FPS, but Call of the Wild, the hunter is so smooth. See, yeah, I think they, yeah. Like Fish Fish says, but I will not say in the live. So I've been told that I need to avoid story missions, and if we happen to come along a collectible, you are to act like we never saw it. 
um, because we can't really avoid them, so they pop up in random places. Um, from this starting area by the uh, dinosaurs, you can find a lot of Kerper. I have been catching them on blood worms. Let's make sure we have that instead of just casting in God, blood worms. Let's see if we can just, uh, oh yeah, right here. Little red breasted Kerper in front of us. I hate that I can't look any further down. It annoys me when you're, uh, when you're casting out, you know, uh, but it is what it is, I suppose. I was just watching the Fishing Planet vids and saw you live. Well, hey, right on, Muhammad. Right on, right on. We're using a number 10 with a blood worm, so you would think the only reason this guy's not going for it is because the hook is too small. However, small hook never, never kept a bigger fish from coming after. Usually that just means they didn't know. They didn't know that uh, the hook was there is usually what a small hook does. Uh, interesting. Well, I suppose we could throw on a larger hook. This is the this is the kind of stuff that drives me a little bit wild about uh, Call of the Wild, the angler. But let's try this hook. Maybe this hook size will get them. Come on. So obviously we got a lot of fun fish. I know where a good amount of them are, so we'll go out and catch a few of them. The grass carp, tiger fish, that sort of stuff. Um, the tiger fish. Big fish is going to be a fun one to catch, and, uh, and it's, it's actually fairly easy to catch. Um, so we'll go out and show you a good spot for them and uh, and catch a good good many of them just for some fun. Can you catch some fish? That's what I'm trying to do, Sandra. That's what I'm trying to do. We're seeing fish. Catching them is, uh, is uh, what's uh, keeping us, I guess, from uh, getting them in our hands. Here we go. Finally some interest. That is a red-breasted Kerper there. T -t today Junior. Got him. All right, so first look at one of the little Kerpers. The silver one, so right on. Um, yeah, there are a good many uh, of these Kerper species. I will say the one that I love is this uh, Canary Kerper. It's all yellow. And uh, it does not nibble. It just goes up and just grabs your bait immediately. No one look at that mission we just completed there. That did not happen. It's not a storyline mission, but still, don't look at it. Okay, so we are going to now go up here, because I should have a rod set for the grass carp, which are kind of fun to catch. So let's go see if we can find one. Especially, I think it was such a nostalgic thing for me. Okay, which way do we go? This way? Uh, because if you do any bass fishing around like community lakes and stuff like that um, One thing that you may see um, uh, Community ponds I guess is that there are giant grass carp that swim While you're uh, bass fishing and stuff like that and uh, and I think grass carp are a great way to get people into carp fishing, but um but yes, so the grass carp are massive and they grab your attention and you go, oh my god, how can I catch that thing? Um, and so that is also something that happens in here. You could be over here doing a little bit of bass fishing and the next thing you know, there's a ginormous grass carp swimming by you and, uh, and you want to catch that sucker. So it's kind of fun, but uh, let's see. We can't, if we, if we don't see one, I guess, we might just go to one of these ponds over here and just catch out, uh, cast out and try to catch one. Uh, Cause, just try to be as time efficient as possible so we're not staring at the water for too long. I thought that was a fish, but it was just moss. So they have all these little carp lakes set up, which is kind of neat. And they have little pegs for you to stand on and cast out. Unfortunately, not multiple rods, but uh, that's uh, that's to wait, I suppose, if ever. Let's see here. Can we do a size three with a corn? And we'll cast out. Oh, look at all these little guys. That looks like a moggle there. There are these little moggles. I don't know what a moggle is, to be quite honest. I've never heard of it before. Someone from South Africa might know. Just saw the community post. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Gamer76. Uh, I used to be able to play all Avalanche games on your gaming laptop. But what about now? Not anymore? It's the perfect time to play Fishing Plant. I like your voice in the background. Hey, well, good deal. <laughs> 
Your cam kind of blocks the fish catch. It's okay, though. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Where would be the best place for it to be for Call the Wild the Angler? Up here, maybe? We try up here. Is this a better place? So far, it isn't uh, obstructing anything. Is that fine? Get a tad larger. Just a tad, though. We might, uh, this is a smaller lake, so if there was a grass carp in here, he would, uh, he would find it pretty quickly. But it doesn't seem to be the case, so maybe we'll reel in and try somewhere else. <clears throat> Gonna be throwing hands with these ads at bad times. <laughs> I wish we could turn it off for moderators. You know, if there was just a little checkbox or something that I could turn it off for people who are moderating. Because it, it's not great if the moderator can't see the chat because of an ad or something like that. Um, I think anyway. But I'm trying these two spots because the last two grass cob I caught were in these two spots. But we might have to try somewhere else, somewhere I haven't been yet. But we do have a good many... Of the, I mean, you can see we got one. Basically, these two are connected, or two. No, they're not. They're two different lakes. So here, so there, there's a few different ones we could uh, fish at to find one of these grass carp. We'll just we'll move it along. We won't stay in in one place for too long. We'll keep moving. Ooh, ooh, we got nibbles. Oh boy. <laughs> He's taking out line. So if you've caught a grass carp before, if you've fished for them, this should seem pretty uh, familiar. Hooking into one and then uh, seeing it swim away as your reel just goes zzzz, <laughs> Because they are so strong. <laughs> one of those great things about carp. This is a good one, man. I've caught two of them so far. And they didn't put this sort of strain on it. That's for dang sure. So we must have caught a decent one. The last two I caught were silvers. Would be interesting if this one was a gold. Gosh, dang, yeah, he was big. Goodness gracious. All right, well, maybe we'll have to stay away from him. Good golly. The last, like I said, last two I caught were silvers. They didn't break the line. I was able to reel them in, but that guy... He just took it and ran. There was no stopping him. Oh, all right. Well, let's try here then. Maybe there's a slightly smaller one to catch. A, eh? I hope. Smack dab in the middle. Sorry if it came across this. I just thought it would be cool to see the fish catch too. Hey, you know, we'll give it a go. I'm, I'm used to fishing with Fishing Planet, and it's hard to stay out of the way of the things on the bottom, and then Fishing Planet usually has stuff in the top left, um, and I think it has stuff in the top right too, so it's just kind of like a balance of figuring out where to put cameras and all that sort of stuff, so we'll, we'll go. We're, we're going to be doing this live stream for a good few hours. Might as well make sure it's, it's the best for people. It, this camera position might block the uh the the fish score and all that stuff when it finally comes up so we might have to might have to juggle it a, a bit throughout it see this is when having multiple rods could be nice because i could cast one out there and then like one in the middle and then one on the right over here and then um and then we wouldn't just be sitting here waiting for something to happen you know what i mean you know what I mean? Do I seem crazy? Is that a crazy idea, Call of the Wild the Angler? Big boy PC for the win, though. Heck yeah. Very much not anymore. <laughs> Early stream, POG. POG. Poggers. Poggers. What time is it for me? It's 1.15 in the afternoon. I don't know if you're talking to me or someone else. Here we go. Nibbles, nibbles. Nibbles. I see grass carp swimming below us, so I'm like, they've got to be around here. You see this one off to the left here, right at the tip of the rod? They're in here. That one we had before was just big, I guess. Because he just completely manhandled us. Yeah, little guy. Bronze grass carp. 
2,454 score, and you can see credits and, and XP wise. Big time credits and XP, uh, which is fantastic. Which is fantastic. Basically, if you catch. Oh, leveled up too. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's not some Ron Burgundy flute stuff, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so did we scare all the other ones away because they're not in front of us anymore? I'm curious. Just cast out like this. Let's see, they were like literally swimming right in front of the dock. We'll give this another. Oh, 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 there's one. One right there. I see you. I see you there. Go get my. Go get my thing. <clears throat> You're fishing for sturgeon with your voice in the background. Hey, I I hear about it all the time. We got nibbles. We got nibbles. All right. I love how the nibbles down on the bottom still ripple the water up at the top. <laughs> we have found a good few little grass carp here. So yeah, see this, I, I just don't think, I think we're going to have to go back to where it was. I don't know about, I don't know about what it was up. Oh no, we're upside down now. Is this, oh God, here we go. I'm so small. There. Back to normal. Back to normal. We'll just have to deal with it. Deal with it in the in its usual spot. But right on, grass carp. You obviously got the trophy shot. Trophy shot, which is which is pretty cool. I wish we could kind of zoom in and, and and pan around the camera and stuff like that, but otherwise pretty neat. 2454 score, got some money from it as well. We upside down now. Still have any grass carp swimming up underneath us? No. But cool, that is the grass carp anyway. Those are some smaller ones, but we'll have to come back here when we have uh, some bigger gear to get some bigger ones. I had caught two silvers, like I said, but uh, evidently a gold came by and broke our line. And then the uh, we never saw any silvers, just some bronzes. And I don't know why I'm running other than to explain what just happened, but basically to get to Evidently, there is a way to get to it via this path over here. Ev ev evidently? I'm not really sure. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Last time I did this, I uh, I, cr I crashed my boat. But uh, maybe this time it won't happen. You, There is a place that you can spawn to get to the river. Otherwise, you have to drive to it, which is really annoying. Um, so I'm curious if we'll be able to go off this waterfall and then a number of other waterfalls and get to the river to fish for some tiger fish. Where's the car thing? Way over here? Where are you, car thing? You're forever away. Fun fact, didn't know Bo was from Kansas, spent a lot of time in the outdoors in Kansas growing up. Hey, right on, Joseph. Sweet. Good old Kansas. This 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 ain't Kansas anymore. We we, we ain't in Kansas anymore. Um, let's go. Get the car. By the time we got that car, we we'll probably could have ran over here. Good god, took forever. Stone Cold Gaming, how's it going, man? Let's check it out. Okay, so this is one of the places you can get a boat. However, like I said, to go where we want to go, we're going to basically have to go off a waterfall, <laughs> which I did one time, but it gets real shallow, and I'm not sure we'll be able to um, be able to get any further on the boat, unfortunately. But uh, maybe there's a better way to get there. I'm not sure. So there is a walk over there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. There is a fast travel point right here, I believe. How to get there, though, is a question. Woo! All right. Made it off the waterfall. 
And we're in the river now. Well, not exactly what I wanted, but we're making our way through, I suppose. I don't know if we can go this way. Probably have to go on the other side. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. We should have gone on the other side of the waterfall. I caught my first yellow fish in this river. I cast it off right here with a spinner and caught it. I was pretty excited about that. This is probably the worst way to go, but I've done this before, so we're going to do it again. All right, so we're running in the river. Another case of extreme boating. That's very true. <laughs> I did see there was a bridge that went across right there, so I'm curious if there's another bridge that leads to the place. This might be a fool's errand. But we'll at least go to the next waterfall and uh, catch some tiger fish underneath it. That is actually where I caught my first tiger fish. This waterfall up here. And it's just kind of cool to be running in this stream, I think, anyway. We don't get enough streams to run in and call the wild the angler. What's up with that? Okie dokie. So, I'm a little bit deeper. You can start to see the water going down. Are we going to be able to make it to this side? I don't think we are. Let's go to the other side. Ooh, that looks like a path going down. I think we better go up, guys. What do you think? Happy Friday, brother. Happy to you as well. Oh, come on. Get up on the rock. Now, I think there's, um... I think there's a secret way. Let's go up this. I wonder if you can get across that bridge over there. With the car. I'm so curious right now. How would we get to this point how do we get there we just run on foot maybe i'm not sure let's go let's just keep running let's catch some fish sorry i'm being so crazy i'm just deciding the best way to do things is that a little copper vein right there with style as they say I'm going to go after sharp tooth catfish when I get this DLC. Very nice. I uh, I tried for some sharp tooth catfish. It took a little while to catch one. Um, but did get one. At, the reason it takes a while is because you have to wait for it to turn uh, nighttime. Um, you don't have to, necessarily, maybe. But um certainly feels that way. All right. Let's try this. So basically, if we take this, make sure we got a lure set up here, and toss a spinner, which I need to buy a new spinner that's bigger, hopefully. Hopefully, ye old tiger fish is hiding underneath this waterfall. Let's we'll find out. Early stream, let's go. How you doing? I'm doing quite well, Kilo Knight. How are you? GD Gaming Boy. Ooh, ooh, something's jumping next to us. I look like a tiger fish. Small one, but still. Come on. Come get it. Ah. Oh, go down a size. I know they're right in front of us, so... There was one right there. Are there fish here big enough to use the four uh, purpose? I feel like I'm never using mine. You know, I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't think so, but uh, maybe the uh, the big African tiger fish will go for it. You know? Guys, taking line. We can increase our drag quite a bit, though, it looks like. Oh, 90% drag now. 
Now we're just horsing them in. Oh, not anymore. First time I've watched one of your streams. Well, right on, Michael. Glad you can make it. Will you play a bit of this map when it comes out? Um, maybe so. Depends on what, what we need to do, I suppose. I guess playing here in South Africa has kind of reignited uh, some fun with Call of the Wild, the angler. I've enjoyed it, catching these uh, fish. Look at that jump there. Do you see that? Come here, tiger. Come here, you. Yeah. There we go. There we go. A little bronze African tiger fish. 6.84 pounds. Uh, very nice. Cool little fish, I think, anyway. Look at those teethers. Just a little almost seven pounder. 1,942 uh, score there. I didn't see what the XP and money was. I feel like they should keep that. Like the XP and money should be showing underneath the score or something. That would be helpful. Otherwise, you get like a second to see how much you got, and that was about it. Well, there's more tiger fish in here, but I'm curious if we can continue going down the river. There is that one... What are you? A little labio? So the tiger fish and the labio are kind of in the same area. Um, and the yellowfish as well. The yellowfish will be in the river as well. Um, so you can catch... I believe you can catch the tigerfish and the um, the yellowfish on frogs. So if you throw a frog, you could technically go for both of them at the same time, which we might do. Um, I've currently got a three spinner, and I have a four frog. So we might uh, switch to the frog here in a bit just to uh, be able to go after the largemouth uh, yellowfish as well as the tigerfish. I've never gone this far down the river, though, so I'm kind of curious what's what's down here. No hippos and crocodiles, I hope. If we find any, like, deep spots, too, we might give a cast. Kieran Hill! Hey, right on, man. Thank you, thank you. I really need to get a, uh, a fishing themed uh, celebration together. My 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 celebrations are still from uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild days. So I made it a duck hunt. That's fun though. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Great night or day from South Africa. Well, thank you. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's daytime in South Africa for me. What about you? What is South Africa? Like seven? Seven hours ahead? Eight hours ahead? I'm trying not to fall into the river. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Oh. Can we see if there's anything in here? Have we ran enough? Should we stop, stop and try to catch a fish again? Because otherwise, I'll show you what I mean, in that you can't um, you can't reach the river very easily. There's not a fast travel point that just takes you straight to the river, which is kind of silly in my opinion. Um, if I want to go fish for tiger fish and whatnot, oh, there is one chasing it right now. Right on, right on. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm muscle them up here. Huge six pound bronze is crazy. Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder. And I do I do have access to a number one spinner as well now. We're using a number five spinner just to be able to catch stuff a little easier, but we get into a spot where we see a bunch of tigers, we might we might go down to the number three just to just to get slightly bigger fish. Come on, you. Oh, this isn't a tiger. Oh my god, it's a largemouth yellowfish! Oh, this is my first one I've caught. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Oh, man. I've only caught the smallmouth one. So we finally got the largemouth. Good deal. I have been searching for one of these largemouths 
For hours, hours I played the first time and never saw one. So that is sweet. And only a bronze at 7.25 pounds. Nice. Oh, keep him. Very nice. Let's, uh, let's keep on moving. Keep on making our way down the river here. How do I put a nine hook on your maiden? I, d I don't know. You have a nine in your inventory? Maybe Bo will get a bigger one. I surely hope so. As a South African, I can say this is not even close to the real thing. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't look like South Africa. I've only been in South Africa for like two hours and it was in the airport. So I can't say much about South Africa. From what I could see up above, it just looked like a lot of uh, a lot of farmed fields. <laughs> That's all I could see from uh, from the airplane. How do I? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, then you should be able to put it on there. You would certainly think. Are you? You've you've created a float or a feeder setup, I would assume. See, there's a dock. How the heck do we get to it, though? I don't understand. You must have to come from the opposite direction. Through the road, and then I guess you just take a... See, that's still a ways away from the walkway that's on the map. Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like we can cross here. Still, though, I mean, even if you were able to get into your boat, you wouldn't be able to get over this waterfall. But I think there's a point of interest over here. We got the dock. From what I could see from one of the maps I saw, there was a point of interest that would allow you to fast travel over here. Maybe? Maybe it's over here. Otherwise, I'll show you the long way you have to go to get to the river. And I was trying to avoid it, but... Nobody make notice of that orange box over there. It never existed. Nobody saw it. This is a trail, evidently. Finally got into a live stream. I'm liking these odds. Been waiting for some actual monsters. Heck yeah. Point of interest, please. Anything? That sounds like we're snapping bones over here. There we go. What? A How is this a key location? I'm so confused. Why? Is it because of this cliff over here or something? It must be. It must be because of that cliff. Maybe it's part of the story or something. I'm not sure. All right. Well, if we can fast travel here now, like on the map, we can fast travel to the cave. Does that make our life any easier? Because I don't believe there's a dock over here. <laughs> other than that one that was above the waterfall. No. Okay. Well, I guess that means you can at least fish this waterfall. You can fast travel and fish this waterfall easily enough. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can pull out a bigger tiger fish out of here. I'll switch to that number three spinner. See if we get lucky. And please let me know if the waterfall's too loud or anything like that. We can turn down the sound effects or something. Uh, number three. Big cast. I was talking about how it would be useful <clears throat> in Russian fishing 
which has a very similar casting method, you can just hold shift and it will cast the furthest distance um, automatically. And I feel like that would be useful in Call of the Wall of the Angler as well. Just being able to um, hold a button and then uh, hold the casting button and then all of a sudden, oh, there is one chasing it. Slowing down to one speed so he can catch up. Grab it! There he's got it. There he's got it. Looks like a little guy. Yeah, not the monster we were looking for, but hey. 75 XP on that guy, 92 credits. Righto, righto. He came up from way over there. Well, let's just cast across then and see. Maybe that's the better way to do it. I was trying to make it look like there's a labio underneath us. I was trying to make it look like it was a fish that was kind of swimming down the stream or something like that, but uh, we didn't catch it till the last. Oh, fish on! I'm chatting, chatting when I should be fishing. <laughs> Do you think huge alligator gars are in Africa? You know, alligator gar are one of the invasive species in the world. Um, they bring them in for the aquarium trade. And then they uh, they spread into local waters because they obviously get too big. People don't know what to do with them, so they release them. And then an alligator gar, being a freaking apex predator, <laughs> is like nothing can eat them. So uh, they just end up spreading into uh, into areas. And so I have no doubt that there could certainly be an alligator gar in Africa somewhere. Uh, but it doesn't. It's not supposed to be there by any means. <laughs> Um, and we'll click on rods and it should be easier. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I'm not, yeah, there's just so many different things. I'm not sure what the real issue is. Um, <clears throat> Michael, do you think they'll ever make a map based in South Africa and the species? Like in, like in Fishing Planet? I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe. I think they're focused on ocean maps at the moment, but you never know. The Congo kind of hit on a lot of different fish species, including the bigger ones, like the Goliath tigerfish and the Nile perch and stuff like that. Let's see, I see something that just came up there. You haven't played this game yet? Is it good, kind of like Fishing Planet? Kinda! I would say... If you played the fishing in Far Cry, then it's like an open world Far Cry fishing game. <laughs> um, it's a little bit different, you know. Um, I play all the fishing games, so, you know. I guess I can't really say which I think is better and, and all that jazz, but there's a reason I play Fishing Planet more than any other game. Um, this guy's, he's strong. We're still getting him in, but he's not pulling out long. But we still have to pump to reel him in. I'm thinking maybe he's a tad bigger than the last ones we've been catching. Nope, he's actually a tad smaller than the last ones we've been catching. All right. Well, this has been fun. I mean, there's a bunch of small tiger fish, it seems. Let's go back to the, um... Call of the Wild. You really need to bring up your inventory when you press escape. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's very frustrating. Every time. <laughs> yeah, I hit escape thinking it'll bring up my inventory like Fishing Planet or Russian Fishing. And it doesn't. And it's frustrating. Alright. Let's see. Nope, the waterfall for me. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, instead of... no. Okay. I get you. Let's buy that number one spinner. I'm hoping we can get to uh, $2,500 here soon, and uh, and I'll be able to buy the the next like expansion onto my uh, equipment and stuff like that, so that we can. Here's the number one spinner. We get the next set of spinners, the number one aught and the two aught, at 25. So that's good to know. Um, but let's get this guy. And then we'll need to go into our storage here, lures. And put one of these away. Put, oh, keep the five. Put the six away. And then we'll grab the one. 
So many different colors. Oh, we already had one from a DLC. Well, all right. That's fine. <laughs> we'll keep that guy, I guess. Okay, so now should be good. Let's go off. Uh, I do, like I was just saying, I do want to buy this tackle box expansion here soon. So once we get to 2,500, we might make our way back to Precious here and, uh, and buy that. I like Precious. She doesn't talk too much. She's not like Taylor's tackles or anything. Talking every chance you get. She says hello. She says goodbye. And that's it. See ya. See ya. And we're off. Okay, so I'll show you the real way to get to the Tigerfish River. Um, it's really annoying, to be honest. And maybe we'll find a fast travel point on the way there. I don't know. I doubt it. This is a fish farm. You'll see it in my first look video, but essentially it's just a bunch of little pools. There are some small kerpers throughout it. So if you had a, a blood worm or something like that, you could probably catch some. Woo! Think it freaking take your head off. But I don't see any. Anyway, I think it's a story element that I haven't figured out yet. I think it's just showing that, you know, there's... They have a fish farm and it makes, you know, they raise fish and it's for the locals or something like that. I'm not really... Maybe they take the, the farmed fish and they put them in the, uh, the other areas or something. I'm not sure. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of fish in there. So essentially, take a car and you drive from that point... You go all the way to this road, and you keep on driving, and you take a left, and then you go up this hill. There's fishing in Far Cry? The one with fishing, yeah. <laughs> And then you go off road because the road is too long. So you go up the hill and look for the next road. Okay. Once you get to this road, then is this a fast travel point? Please be. Please be. Hey, good deal. Well, that makes it a little bit easier then. Then you don't have to go near as far. Okay, so imagine you're starting off from this point. You go around the lake, way over here. Look at all those pink flowers, beautiful. What time is it there now, though? Like in the game or for me? Hand. Time for you to catch a pike you've been seeing. Oh yeah? Looks like there's a road down here. The road gets super wi wildery. Just saying. You get down here and you feel like you're in the bush. That's for sure. Okay, so you take this. You hit a few trees. That's a required note from me. Make sure you hit a few trees. And then, this road is absolutely wild. There's a number of waterfalls beside of you. Kind of reminds me when we were uh, fishing for the giant snakehead in Taiwan. We had to take a road like this. My wife was just... We were happy that it was uh, dark and in the morning. Because otherwise, I feel like she would have gotten motion sick so bad. Going down this windy road like this. All right. So I, I'm just... I'm bringing this up because I'm hoping Expansive Worlds gets uh, upset that I brought this to your attention and they add a fast travel point. Because otherwise, it's really annoying. You have to go all the way down this road. Get a few more trees. Avoid that tree that's in the middle of the road. Okay, I don't know which way to go this way.
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Still not there. Making our way down the road. Still. Little, uh, little viewing platform for you. You know how you always want to stop and do that. Um, so we're still going. Still going. Yep, more road. More road. Hopefully you're not getting bored. We're gonna fall down the hill at this point because I can't drive. And... Boom shakalaka! We've made it! And then, just imagine that any time you want to fish this river, you have to make that drop. <laughs> because there's no fast travel point down here! Is that not insane? You literally have to drive from this point all the way down that curvy ass road for as long as it took every time you want to fish this river. And that's why I was that's why I was trying to figure out this point of interest thing and seeing if there was a boat we could take. Because otherwise you can't fast travel to this point. You can fast travel to your car. So leave your car here forever. Permanent car parking spot. Um, but seriously, how annoying is that? So um, let's get a boat. Go onto the river. Thank, thank you, Jaxie Beer. Well, I appreciate it. And, and I don't, you know, I don't want to be negative. I want to enjoy this game. Like every, I'm sure everyone else, you know. I want to enjoy this game. I think everyone else wants to enjoy the game. Are you kidding me? I totally made it into the boat. <laughs> um, and that's just one of the, mi the minor annoyances I found when I was playing. As I was like, you would think the tiger fish have to be one of like the biggest things people want to fish for here. And I'm wanting to come out to the river and fish and stuff like that. And they don't have a darn fast travel point to get over there. Um, but yes. Open world, sure. I understand. You actually live in South Africa, Keanu. Very cool. Don't get me started on the Agua Claris. How many rods do you have in real life? Oh, golly. I don't know. I actually I have a good many of them hanging up in my little workshop over there. Um... But I, I have different rods for different things, so I have like three, three big catfish rods, and then I have um, three carp rods. I might have a fourth one. I'm not sure. I have a number of different bass rods and a number of different other rods. Got a couple of fly rods too. So I'm not really sure. I've never counted them all up, but you know, a dozen or so. Fast travel the car is nice. It is. It is for sure. You're on the bus to go home from school. Hey, right on. Fish, fish. Or not fish, fish. Landon. Both of your icons are pink. I got them confused there. We're going to a specific dock. If it looks like I'm just dri driving my boat out to a random spot. Um, Jackson Beard, while we're on the topic of uh, good feedback, uh, I haven't been in the newest boats. They might have gas pedals like a car. I don't know. But uh, I'm I'm used to the, the little shift. That if you want to go forward, you shift it forward, and then you shift it backwards if you want to go in reverse. Um, if I were to press W and shift it forward, and then let go of the W, it, it would still be shifted forward. We, we would still be going. Um, and then if I pressed it, press S and brought it backwards back to neutral, then we wouldn't be going anywhere, and I could get it into reverse. Um, would be nice so that I don't have to like hold this W for forever. Um, but here I am complaining again. Let's get out here. So this is a cool little spot. I don't know if it's Acacia or Akasha. I've heard both and I don't know which is true anymore. Um, then we are going to go to this dock. I love this dock. For one, there's tigerfish everywhere. There's also another dock on the river over here that's pretty good. Let's stop here and do some tigerfish fishing. Tiger fishing. All right. One controller, the boat keeps going if you press auto walk. <gasps> I don't know. I, I, did I try that? I can't remember. 
So I'm one track, one track mine at the moment. Okay. Well, we can't see any swimming around, but oh, there's one. There, oh, that's a red-nosed labio. <gasps> I haven't caught one of those yet. How do we catch one? Says they like corn, cheese, or eggs. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I have corn. I have corn. I have cheese. I have eggs. I have cheese. Seven. Is that going to be small enough? Let's, tr let's find out. Hopefully it's not too strong. It's our depth a little bit more. All right. Come on, labio. Lay be up to that. That doesn't make any sense. You can check. Pretty sure there's a keybind to auto drive. Ooh, okay. There you go. Let's see, that's my mistake. My mistake then, I guess. I should know the auto drive key. I don't. Who would have the autopilot? It should be like a ship in space. Just uh, hit the autopilot and it takes me directly to this dock. Don't have to do anything. Just boom shakalaka and we're there. Red Nose Labio just split. He was like, nah, I ain't about that. I don't subscribe to your seven hook and cheese, sir. Maybe, maybe someone else, but not for my standards. See, I see the fish down there. You know, another fish that I caught over here was the model eel. And I do wonder, there is a deeper spot in the river just over here. You can see how it gets real deep. And I wonder if we cast it out trying to catch that eel. That's where what we would catch. Let's see if we can get a good tiger out here as well. Got a number of tigers from this spot. Let's sink down a bit. Flat bottom bass boat doesn't keep driving on controller. Oh. Catch the yellow. You know, we just caught a yellowfish not too long ago in the river. And we're still kind of in the river, so they could be around. But uh, who knows? Who knows for sure? But if they're around, then we have a good chance of catching one. This tiger sees my spinner and he goes, nah, I ain't about that. See, so this could be yellowfish down here. They both could be yellowfish to be quite honest. I'm looking, I'm trying to figure it out. Here, let's, let's go to a slightly smaller, uh, Spinner. Maybe these are yellowfish. Slightly smaller spinner. We were using a three, actually, so it wasn't even that big. I guess it was bigger than... Bigger than a five, anyway. All right, let's try this guy. Neither auto drive. Oh, okay. Okay. Sunglass effects would be neat. Just a little bit. Well, these guys are. Oh, 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 did you see that guy? He was coming. He was coming for it. Come back. Come back. I didn't see him till the last moment. I didn't have time to slow it down, but they, he, he did come for it for a second there. We'll have to slow... Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it again. Both of them are. He's He's got it. He's got it. We got the yellowfish. We got the... Yo you want You want a yellowfish? I got a yellowfish for you. You ask, I deliver. That's how it works. Don't you know? Oh. Guy, our guy is so strong. Got some muscles. So this is a largemouth yellowfish. Doesn't look super big. Bronze largemouth yellowfish. Right on. 79 XP. 96 credits. Got the yellowfish. Top notch. So last time I was here, the yellowfish were not here. It was labios and tigerfish is all we were seeing out from this dock. I wonder if it'll be in the video. I can't quite recall. Um, but very nice. Well, very good. I... Throughout the entire video, I never caught one of these yellowfish. And now we've caught two of them just during this live stream. So that's great. I've caught yellowfish in real life a few weeks ago. They 
give a good fight. Yeah, absolutely. Well, when I was in Taiwan and I was fishing with uh, the guy from South Africa, he, he spoke really highly of yellowfish. He was like, oh, yellowfish are so much fun. He said he grew up carp fishing, but uh, yellowfish were a blast. And if I ever go back to South Africa, I need to go for the yellowfish. So I get it. I get it. I'm with you. I understand. We'll give it a go someday. I don't know the next time I'll be back in Africa, though. It's going to be going to be a good many years, I would think. I think there's a fish going after it. Saw kind of a shimmer of light under there. Oh, I don't know. I think they're just swimming around like crazy down there. Yeah, there's a number of different uh, purple labia swimming underneath us right now. We'll have to uh, switch to a red worm or something. Maybe we can get one. Let's see here. Handbook, purple labio, red worm, crankbait, cheese. We saw, I think I have a crankbait in my uh, backpack. Let's see. I have a size 10 crankbait. You think he'll go for it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Let's just switch to a float setup. We'll grab this guy real quick. Uh, six maybe? Where the heck are my red worms? I think I ran out of red worms. I must have. It says they go after cheese, so let's try cheese. The last uh, time we tried cheese, though, we didn't get one. So, I don't know. I don't know. All right, labio. Lave your mouth onto that cheese there. Oh, 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 oh. He's there. He's there. Look at them all. Another one right behind him. Come here, you. Look, check out the freaking snaz on this guy. Bronze labio. Bronze purple labio, mind you. Look at that nose. <laughs> Isn't that not crazy? That's wild. What a crazy fish. Looks like something from, I don't know, Dr. Seuss or something like that. Right on. Well, top notch, score of 11, not that great. <laughs> if Jaxie was still here, maybe he could explain the whole scoring system because I don't get it. I don't get it. How does the score work? Some fish are worth thousands of score, others are just 11. I don't understand it. <laughs> See this red nosed labios right here. I saw that they go after cheese, but he's just not he's just not about it. Just says no, nah, not my thing. I'm wife wife told me to lay off the cheese, so I'm trying not to uh, try not to eat oh, oh, oh nope, I think it's a purple one. Yeah, I think that's another purple one. Rod Rage, how's it going? Got him. Another purple labio here. I think this one's slightly bigger, maybe? Yeah, it looks a little bit bigger. Four point two nine pounds. 40 XP, 441 score. We went from 11 score to 441 score. So obviously this one's a lot better. It's it's 430 better than the last one. That's awesome. Well, I could tell when I saw this fish, I immediately thought, yeah, it's about 430 better. So that's good. That is good. Rocking as always, heck yeah. All right. Well, we caught a few. We got a labio. We caught a yellowfish. What about over here in this deep water? What can we find? What are you? Yellowfish? I think so. I think it's a yellowfish. Huh. Should we? Let's see. This is rigged up for carp. We just throw this on. What do the... Um... So they'll go after liver. What about you guys? Minnow. Hell, it's regular. 
wafters white. Hmm. If I had a red worm with me, which I should, but I don't, we must be out of them. I'd throw on, throw on that, but I don't have it. So let's do, let's try a minnow. Size three hook. Let's let's uh let's throw that out for a little bit into that deeper water. See if there's anything out there. Might be an eel, you know. Might be an eel for us. We'll see. Get caught up with the chat. If anything, what bait does Pike like? You would think bait wise they would like like minnows and stuff like that. You should be able to see in your handbook if you press um, is it H? Yeah, H. Press H, should bring up your handbook. You should be able to go straight to pike and it'll tell you bait and lure preferences for the pike. And if you don't see any bait there, you can press tab for inspect and it'll give you the entire list of bait and lure preferences. So hopefully you see a bait that uh, they can go for. Ugh. There's yellowfish right beneath us, but I was hoping if we cast it out into the deeper area, we might pull an eel out of there. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Magdalena, how's it going? Elite Hunter, hi. Hi, hi, hi. I'm trying to catch a good variety of fish for the live. For fun. For funsies. But I don't want to wait around forever. So if we don't get one in the next 20 seconds, then we might switch back and catch this yellow fish in front of us or something. I'm, I'm, I'm all about catching fish. That's my thing. Not about, I'm not, you know, I'm not a huge, like throw a bait in the water and just sit there kind of guy. Some people enjoy that just sitting there for hours and not catching fish, but I'm more of the catching fish kind of person. Okay. Done with that. That's that's boring. Let's do. Let's do. Switch back to a lure here. And switch to. Oh, he should go after this frog. Let's try this frog. I think I saw another yellowfish jumping over here too. So just cast out and drag this over top, doing a little uh, doing a little twitch maneuver. See if we get one to come after it. Will you be able to play? Absolutely, I'm always able to play Fishing Planet for sure. You know, uh, unless they, you know, they have a server down or something. Look at this guy going for it. You know, I'm always able to play it. That's that's good. Hey, right on. Woo! We got him. We got him. God, they look so big when they're coming over to it. But uh, I think this is just another bronze one, probably. Righto, righto. Nice. 3,079 score, that one. 118 credits. Fantastic. Do you know how to catch lake trout? I can't get one to bite. You know, I've had luck with spinners, I believe. Spinners? I think so. I have, a, I have like a wide variety of spinners because, um, because of uh, the different fish that go after. There's a ton of different fish that go after spinners. And I think lake trout are one of them. You might check in your handbook just to make sure, but the, the spinner should do it. Let it, throw it out there, let it sink all the way down and then you know reel it in. Um, that would do it, probably. Constant retrieve with those spinners. Let's do, so we got him on the frog. I don't have a larger frog, but we could do, I have a larger spinner which a larger yellow fish might go for. Let's do that, because if there is a, um, there is a good-sized tiger fish in here, he might go after it as well. Could you play on this stream or another time? I, I'm, I'm playing right now, you know? That's what I'm always doing. Usually if I have a live stream, I'm playing. Playing a game, you know, having a good time. That's what I try to do. For sure. Omar, don't scare. Thank you. You bet. Thank you for what? Thank you for what? Come on, yellowfish. Yellowfish, tigerfish, I don't care. One of you. One of you come around.
We were throwing that number one spinner. I was hoping we'd pull big fish out of that deep area, but it doesn't seem to be the case at the moment. Derek Malovich, right on. How's it going? Whoa, hi Bo, how's it going, Velox, Velox Tech? Goodness gracious, sounds super uh, techy. All right, mm hmm, making me, it's making me think. We go back to the frog. We were catching them on a frog. It was a size four though, so if we used like a size three spinner, maybe we'd get more bites. There's a labia swimming underneath us. So many options. I don't know. I am thinking, let's see here. Let's get a little bit of uh a little bit of this going on though, I think anyway. That good? A little bit of music, maybe? It's music from Germany. That's where you're from, by the way. Hey, well, right on. Very cool. Have you caught grass carp? We have caught grass carp. But honestly, we could go catch another one. Although, like I said, if we leave to go catch grass carp, hopefully our, our, our uh, car stays there. Because, um... If we spawn another car, we'll have to go all the way back down that road again uh, to get back to the river, which wouldn't be that fun. But I'm all for catching more grass carp, and I know where uh, some some regular carp are as well, common carp and mirror. Um, so, yeah, for sure. But that was like one of the first things we caught. One of those guys. Let's go to one more dock here, and then we'll go to that grass carp place. I just want to see if there's some tigers over at the other dock. But it might be the same, the yellowfish and whatnot. <laughs> Sebastian, thanks for the sub. What do you mean going down the road wouldn't be fun? I, it's, it's, you know, th there's such a thing as too much fun. You know, sometimes it's just like <clears throat> heart attack inducing almost. Harry's Motocross, thank you, appreciate it. Um, and, and I, I'm not, you know, my heart, oh, I'm 30 now, I'm so old, my heart, it could give out on me at any moment, and going back down that hill in the car just might be too fun, might, you know, some people, you know, they think about dying during the live stream, could be sweet, um, not me, I, I, I'm not one of those, I don't, uh, people it's just too much it is, it is you know let's see if we can find anything over here in the stock last time I was here there was just tiger fish swimming around it like crazy of course it is getting kind of dark now too so who knows can't really see any fish at all now all right anything out here that wants a size four frog please proceed to this direction please what are we trying to catch you know honestly the uh, tiger fish or yellow fish right now we're throwing a frog and both of them should go after the frog so we have a decent chance of catching either if they're in the area of course and if they're not, then you, know, you won't catch them. But I at least wanted to get a few casts in before we went back to catch a grass carp, or at least tried to. Just in case. Don't encourage Derek to keep saying he's too old. You're the same age. <laughs> we're too, we're old, Carly. Ugh. We can't all be young like Jaxie Beard. But he's not in the chat anymore anyway, so, it, it, you know... Those, those young guys, it's, it's just one thing after another for them. You can't stick around for too long. Their attention goes elsewhere. So often in the U.S., in Germany, there are more rare than a Wells catfish. Really? That's interesting. 
I, I'm telling you. Common carp in the U.S. And every once in a while, you'll catch a mirror carp. It's a, it's a pretty rare thing. Um, but uh, they are... They are one of the hidden jewels of the uh, United States. And I wish more people would uh, fish for them instead of shoot them with bows. I guess they don't shoot them with bows. They shoot them with arrows. So, should be specific. Don't want them to call me out. Um, actually, we shoot them with arrows, not bows, dummy. Oh, 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 get it, buddy! Get it, buddy! Come on! Grab it! No! You freaking dude. All right, here we go. Second chance. Second chance. Come on. He's got it. He's got it this time. Get it, bud. Grab it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's nerve-wracking. When you get to those last feet and you know you're just going to lose them. Oh, there we go. Little tiger. Little tiger came out of nowhere. <laughs> that made it exciting. Going after that topwater lure. But he was like trying to eat it, except the jerking motion of the frog was making it go forward every once in a while. And so he would be like trying to eat it and then he would move forward and try to eat it again. And I was just like, oh God, please get it. Please get it, please. All right, we caught one. I should be happy about that. Let's move on. We'll try to catch another grass carp. Hopefully we don't lose our car spot. We cannot use a car for anything now. The car must stay by the river so we can fast travel there. Correct? It's still there? No! Our car was automatically taken away. What the freaking dude? Loser. Ah, oh, I hate that. No one look at that glowy stuff. That doesn't mean anything. Okie dokie. Let's go. There could be a grass carp in here. Let's make sure that we're all still rigged up for that. Oh, you know what we should do before we get too far ahead? We should get red worms. That would be good. What is the best map in the angler? I, I, you know, I don't know. I feel like I don't know enough of all the maps. I really haven't spent enough time in them. However, I, I have been, I told uh, a little while ago, I was saying how this South Africa map has like kind of created a little bit of excitement playing this game. I think it's because I love Africa and I just love, I love the fish. I love the animals. Uh, the people are cool. Uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. Africa is just a cool place. Um, so that might be why I'm finding this more fun than other maps, but, but yeah, I really haven't spent a whole much, uh, a whole bunch of time playing, uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler, but I have been happily playing it these past, uh, the last past, past few days with the South Africa map. So I don't know. Depends on what kind of fish you like going for, I suppose, but otherwise got options there's you got the Norway map you got the map in the United States so the Golden Ridge reserves or whatever for a lot of the American species um, and then from there you can go to Spain and now Africa so you got a little range of stuff come on baby got him hooked up see a slightly larger fish anyway but we are using a, a heavier rod this one's got a good, um, well, heavier rod and reel, I guess, and the line. Everything's about five pounds uh, heavier than that rod we were using for the uh, yellowfish and tigerfish, so. It's all good. We are kind of manhandling this guy right now, though. The knees in the back can't run up and down a basketball court anymore. You're tired after just catching. I know. It's, it's rough. It's rough. There we go. 10.88 pound bronze grass carp. Oh, cool little pick. Um, like I said, the last two carp leading up to this live stream, I had caught two silvers back to back. And I was like, yeah, sick. I found the perfect setup for silver carp. And then <laughs> the first one we uh, got as a bite freaking swam and just took all of our line, just completely snapped us off. And I was like, okay. That's not what I just experienced a few hours ago. Um, and now, now in here, we've just caught bronze after bronze after bronze of those grass carp.
spot. Let's go sit in one of these pegs and give, a, give it another go. Who knows? Maybe we'll just get broken off again with our luck. All right. Come on, grass carp. Uh, howdy, Bill. How's it going, Bucko? Uh, have you been... If be, you've been, maybe, fishing for six years now, you caught more catfish than carp in six years. 19 catfish, most of them more than 50 pounds. Wow, he's out. Uh, those are pretty good catfish, man. That's awesome. Domino's Pizza. Is that the culprit? That's what's ca causing the, the pain? The 30-year-old back pain and, and, and neck and everything like that? Got some neck strain going on. No way you actually made it to a stream, but you are streaming very early. Yeah, every once in a while we'll do an early stream for something special. Luckily, my uh, my boss was pretty was pretty nice. Let me have a, a half day to play some some angler, some angler action. Jingle jingle. Whoop! Hooked up, hooked up. Bjorn's on the hunt, and we're hooked up. Oh, with a slightly larger fish here, donut. Thank you, donut. We've got a slightly larger fish on. Might have our first silver grass carp. I will say, if you come to South Africa and you're wanting to get some quick XP, and you have, like, decent rods to go after, I mean, these aren't super strong rods by any means. But, um, you know, 20-pound line almost. We're able to go after these grass carp with a size 3 hook. And, uh, and they give you some decent money in XP. We're talking, like, 200 coins with every fish. Um, with every silver anyway And this guy in he hasn't he never took out any line, but we are using 80% of our drag right now that Might help Who ordered the Christmas song? I know some of you wanted a Christmas song something about this This arid South African map just really brings on the the want for Christmas. Come on, you. There we go. Slightly larger one. That's awesome. Yeah, baby. Look at that. 20 pound. 20 pound grass carp. 287 XP and 226 credits. That is sick, dude. That is nice. Yeah. Look at that. What a happy guy. Got that sunset in the background. Beautiful day. Beautiful day in South Africa. A, a beautiful day to be alive. That is what I'm talking about. Well, very cool, very cool. Um, 9,393 score. Wowie zowie. So, that, I mean, and that's still a silver, you know? What is the gold going to be? 30 pounds, maybe a diamond around, you know, 45, something like that? Uh, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet fish, you know? Uh, very cool. I remember my first grass carp. In fact, it's on my calendar right there. Very cool. Uh, pike fishing at St. Croix so good, money. Hey, it really is, yeah. It really is. What would you rate the Norway map on a scale from 1 to 10 after the South African map? Yeah. You know, I, I feel like I really can't, really can't rate it, Ola boy. Um, I didn't spend enough time fishing in Norway. Uh, I was really bothered by a lot of aspects of the game back then. And, um... And I haven't made it back since then, so I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's the ad you got. Oh, Domino's Pizza. Okay, I got you. Catfish is crazy good in Germany. Oh, nice. well, I'll have to head head there. I was thinking Spain. Go to Spain on the Abra River for uh, for the Wells catfish, but Germany's a good option too. Whoa, you the angler fishing planet. This is obviously the angler. How is that? You you can't tell this is the angler. <laughs> You're fishing in South Africa? You're from South Africa. <gasps> what? What? You're kidding. Could you show the map zoomed out completely when you get a chance loving the videos for Fishing Planet? Stay humble. Cheers. Hey, right on, Sebastian. Yeah, very good. Well, here, we'll uh, release this fish and take a look at the map here. Are you wanting to get a good idea for spots and whatnot? Um, this is as far back as I can go, but basically it is a, a north to south map. This is the very bottom. Um, and then 
all the way up to the top. This is the very, oh, stuck to my cursor real quick. There we go. This is the top. You know, I haven't made it up this northernmost point, nor have I gone to this lake over here. So I wonder what is in that lake as well. That could be interesting to see. But, uh, but yeah, we'll have to head there maybe in the live stream. It is getting dark. I know a grass carp just swam underneath us here. Wonder if we just, uh, we do a little cast like this. He'll come by and grab it. I saw him down there. This is when the crocodile comes out and eats us. Hey, could you, yeah, uh, got that. Just caught an uni pike. Hey, right on, man. Good catch. You have fish in Poland every summer vacation. Very cool. Very cool. How's the fishing in Poland? Is it pretty good? Ooh, 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 ooh. We got jingles. We got jingles. Stocked carp, you bet. How dare you disrespect Bjorn like that? Ah, you know, I have a dog named Bjorn, so uh, I, I never disrespect that Bjorn. Um, as far as the Bjorn character at uh, Norway, I have nothing against him. Seems like a nice guy. Um, but I just haven't spent a lot of time fishing them. Another good grass carp here. Another silver, 18 pounds. See, this is what I'm talking about. Another 260 XP, another 222 credits. I could sit here and fish for grass carp for hours. There's so much fun at the specific level that I'm at. Um, and I know that there's bigger ones in here too, but uh, yeah, size three hook. Bottom fishing for these uh, grass carp. Just a blast, dude. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Good deal. Do we have enough to uh, get our tackle? Oh, wrong button. To get our uh, tackle uh, expansion yet? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, we're 103 off right now. Okay, we need to catch one more. We need to catch one more grass carp, I think. Let's go to that other grassy area, or we can do this grassy area over here. We got options. We got options. I like to think that they're digging around in this grass over here. I always seem to cast out kind of in that general area. Why is Beer not in your videos anymore? Oh, just because he's gotten old and he's lazy. He doesn't go down the steps that much anymore. He usually spends time with his mom upstairs. Um, you know, my room used to be on the same level as everywhere else in the house. So he would just walk into my room randomly, but, uh, now I'm in a basement. And so he has to go down the steps and he's, he's a big old boy. So he doesn't want to do that sometimes. There we go. Fish on. Oh, decent fish again. Not super big though. It might even be a big bronze, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the reason why Bjorn's done a lot of videos. It was his birthday the other day. He turned nine, so that's fun. I didn't do a post about it online, but I really don't post very much anymore. Just do videos. Focus on videos. Keep preaching the good preach, every, everyone. Get those likes up, and uh, I'm going to head back to work. Hey, sounds good, man. Well, thanks for stopping by. I watch you when you were having 20,000. This is your first live. Well, Dennis, who? I'm glad you made it. That's awesome. I'm glad you made it to the live stream. It is better because you are here. But very good. But very good. I understand. I understand. Thanks again. Absolutely, Sebastian. Hey, it is a silver. Right on. Hey, we should get the tackle expansion now. Let's go, let's go. Though we'll probably need to buy more corn at this rate. We're, we're blowing through corn like crazy. Grass carp after grass. Look at that glimmer on their scales. I'm talking about, man. Let's keep that guy. Okay, so let's see. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We could, let's go back to the tackle place for one and get um, get that tackle expansion. That'll be helpful. I love every time you spawn into here to go into the store, the dinosaurs are making noises. You just, <laughs> time to go to the store to get more lures. <laughs> like every single time. <laughs> sure, I could use a blue bag. What's happening? 
Yeah. Yeah, you could. Okay, so oh, we need to go to local souvenirs. Tackle box expansion. Boom shaka locker. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Um, if we got a hundred, we're at 20 right now, but if we got to a hundred, we could get this. I don't know why we would want it. We could get it if we wanted it. Getting some pretty decent rods and reels right around here. Match rods and spinning rods and stuff like that. Bait casting and stuff. Okay. Top notch. Let's, uh, let's see. What are we doing? Um, we're buying, are we buying something? I don't think we are. Oh, well, if there was, if there was red worms. We have enough money for red worms? We do. Can we buy two of them? Yeah! All right, we got red worms for days. Okay, let's go to... I want to make sure. Liver, pellets. Do rods. This thing. Throw on liver. We have pellets too, is the thing. And we'll try pellets. Or something different. What was the other thing? Pellets and red worm. Maybe red worm's the best way to go about it though, because that will give us at least maybe we'll catch something else if we don't catch catch a catfish. And then we are gonna go down to here. And I'm wondering if we can fish off this dam. I'm willing to give it a go. We can see how deep it is off this dam. Whoa, it's so we can see so far from this. Um let me just stand up here. There. Right into the deep stuff. Give it a go. Cast too high above water. Ah, it's still too high. Okay, so we are too high. Drat sauce, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll run over here. I will say the first time I did this, I mean, it took quite a while to finally catch one. It took forever. Yearn is nine? You're kidding. I'm not kidding. He's a he's the ripe old age of nine. Nine years old, big Bjorn. Big King Bjorn. Happy birthday, Bjorn. That's very old Elkhan, if it is. <laughs> if it is the breed. It is the breed. Uh, on Google, it says they live to be about 14, though, so uh, he's, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. His face is starting to get gray, but he's he's still pretty spunky. He still he still bites you quite a bit. <laughs> oh no. He's a good dog. Good old boy. All right, we're gonna cast out as deep as we can. Number three, we got uh, red worm on there. Hopefully, we either get a catfish or a carp. We'll give this a minute or two just to see. Like I said, last time I finally caught the catfish, I had to wait quite a while for it to actually turn to nighttime. So, it might not work out for us. We'll just find out. We'll give it a go. What have you caught so far? We've caught um, grass carp, uh, large yellowfish, largemouth yellowfish, uh, African tigerfish, purple labio, uh, red breast kerper. What else have we caught? What else have we caught? Those are just the ones that kind of hit me off the top of my head. I don't think we've caught a common. Ooh, ooh, jingle, 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 jingle. <gasps> got him. We got something. We got something. It's not big. It's coming in pretty quick. We got him. The South African outdoorsman, maybe. You guys complaining about 30, but Bjorn is 63. <laughs> you know he takes joint medication. I haven't been taking joint. Maybe if I take joint medication, I'll be running around like him. Goodness gracious. Just being attacked. I'm being emotionally attacked right now. <laughs> I'm your fan. Well, thank you, Magnum Bottle. Appreciate it. All right, we just horsed this guy in, basically. What are you? It's a mirror carp. I was curious. Using that red worm, I was curious if we would end up catching a carp. And we did. So, top notch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, good deal. Better than sitting there not catching anything, I guess. We'll catch a carp if we're not going to catch a darn, uh, darn catfish. Better than nothing. It's 88 feet deep over there. I fished a spot. Was it in a river? I think there was a spot in a river I was fishing one time. It was 119 feet deep. And I joked that it was the Marianas Trench. I was like, I don't even... I wanted to look up what the deepest river in the world was. Because I was like, 120 foot deep river. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> I was fishing for lake trout on Lake Tahoe one time. And I think we were fishing... God, at one point I think we were jigging at like 150 or 180 feet. But that was in a lake. That wasn't in a river. So, I I don't know. Garen is the goodest of boys. I agree. Just caught a 50-pound Voondu. Hey, right on, guy. I love that name. Guy. Norsk of the normal. It is Norsk, yeah. It's a Norwegian... Norwegian Elkhound. Elkhound. My... My... My lips don't move that way my tongue tongue and my lips don't move good enough to speak norwegian very very good but what's your biggest fish biggest fish in uh in call the wild the angler or in fishing planet or what or in real life what are we talking about i need context in Fishing Planet, should I go to Naharan River? I went there and the three fish I caught was a unicorn smallmouth bass. Yeah, I mean, if you want to. I would I would definitely say if you want to go there, uh, try to catch, you know, that that uh, that big um, smallmouth bass. The unique smallmouth and the, uh, and the largemouth and stuff like that. Those are probably going to be your fish to target for sure. Is the DLC release or is it like for... There's like this little emoticon button that always blocks the last word that's in that first line when it shows up on the chat window. Very annoying. For you, no. YK. Ooh, jingle jangle. Jingle jangle. Got him! Hooked up! Could just be another carp here. Um, but yeah. I would say it's just for me because uh, it releases March 26th for everyone else on PC and console. Sorry, I had to think about that. I was thinking about the other thing too. My biggest, the biggest fish I've caught in Call of the English so far is the um, is the pike, the legendary pike in the Norway map. Can't remember what it was called. The procrastinator or something like that. <laughs> What was that thing called? It's so dark around here. It's so hard to see things. I think it's another uh, carp, unfortunately. Yeah, shoot. It's taken so darn long to just catch a carp, though. Darn catfish. I don't know, man. At the beginning of Lion King. It's the circle of life, and it catches catfish. Which is probably good, because we certainly aren't. Okay, so, we're not catching catfish here. You can't fish below the dam. Thought I would throw that out there. Just in case it sounded like fun to anyone. Let me squash that. No catching them there. Don't even think about it. Let's go uh, travel over here real quick. Imagine trying late at <laughs> and hearing that. It would make me think that the Lion King was sneaking up on me. That's for sure. Are you using a flash? We are using a flashlight. Can you see it? Can you see the headlamp there? It's super dark, even with the headlamp. Uh, I know that my headlamp is is a lot brighter than that. Um, so I don't know if that should be an upgradable piece of equipment or or what, but um, God dang this freaking car thing Always gets away from me. Where are you? Here we go. Whoa. Whoa This guy's dropping cars 
Let's get in here. All right, which way are we going? We are going left and then right. Whoa! We're gonna go up and see what this northern lake is all about. Maybe there's African catfish up there too. I'd say 100% premium. I have only been playing a week and a half and I'm level 38, right on. Very cool. Also with the help of the videos, yeah. That helps. Is premium worth getting in Fishing Planet? I say. I say it's the only thing worth getting, to be honest. Um, if you wanted to spend money in Fishing Planet, that's, that is my highest recommendation. Bottom right for five dollars, that has helped you a lot, okay. Can you try on cheese or it doesn't bite on cheese? It, mm, I'm not sure. It wasn't listed in its top three. Um, but I tell you what, if we don't catch anything over here, did I miss a road? Is there a road over there? Well, evidently we did. Right here. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of Verhonga. Expect a lion to be running out of these trees all of a sudden. All right, trailhead, trailhead, everybody, everywhere. All right, so let's go down here and get a boat. Get the boat, and we'll go out. Let's um. What do you think? Should we fish in the deepest areas to see? See about those catfish? Be fishing around these pylons. I would do. You catch two pound pike in real life in Europe? Right on. We found a fast travel point out in the middle of the water. Oh, it's the bridge. Interesting. I was gonna say, Whoa, if I fast traveled out into the water, I would just sink into the water and die. So this is a deep spot out in front of us. We try here. Let's uh, let's try the pellets. I don't know if we're supposed to be fishing a deep spot for catfish or what we're supposed to be trying. We can try liver or pellets. I don't know. I don't know what the best is. Let's just sling this off the bow here. Let it sink all 139 feet. And we'll uh we'll see what happens, I guess. Give it a minute or two. Just now getting to the bottom. Your plunk. Good deal. Nice. Are you doing some cleaning? Am I doing some? Are you talking to someone else? Who's? Why would I be doing cleaning? Let's just see Bo get a big catfish. Ah, that's what. Well, that's the goal anyway. Goodness gracious! I'm sure for you, all you see is a black screen because it's super dark. Ah, that's okay. Hopefully we catch a fish. You call the wild. I just picked it up on Epic. Hey, right on, explosive fishing. You caught a nine fifth pound catfish. Nine point five pound. Okay, I'm with you. Nine and a half pound catfish at yeah, Mudwater River. Really? That's shocking. What's my biggest fish in Fishing Planet? It's got to be one of the Nile Perch. It's like 450 some pounds or 430 pounds or something like that. It's got to be it. Got to be it. We are fishing here. Really nothing going on. Hmm. Hmm. I say let's go. Let's go see if there's a dock over here for one thing. 
then I think I'm gonna exit out of the game and come back in so that we can get daytime again. That way you guys can see stuff. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll see what we wanna do then. What's your biggest bass in Call of the Wild? I, I don't know. You know, I have a video on it. You can go watch the video or something and figure it out. It's a little short. It's only like a minute long. All right, we found the dock. All right, I'm going to exit out of this, so you're all going to have to look at my, my ugly mug for a bit here while I figure this out. Oh, wait, we aren't just staring at a black screen for a bit. Easiest way to change time in the angler is just to back out of the entire game and bring it back up. Try fishing under the bridge, Bo, if you want. Ah, it's, a, it's a good option. Good option for sure. You caught a big walleye, huh? That's a Nile perch in KG. Okay, around that. Very cool. Just read my, read my shirt. It's my, it's my special carp shirt. I'm not, I haven't been selling my shirts for a while, but, uh, this is one of my shirts that, that I, that I drew up. So once, once we get back to, uh, selling shirts and stuff, this, this beautiful, um, this beautiful shirt will be on the market again. <laughs> All right, back to the game. Sorry. I thought I was showing it again. Is it on your shop? It is not. No. I stopped using the shop because I didn't like the quality of stuff they were putting out. Their their shirts were just falling apart. People were washing them and like the shirt, like the graphics and stuff would just like fall apart in the wash. And I was just like, yeah, for the price that those shirts are, they should not fall apart like that. So, so I kind of stopped doing stuff with the store. Good seeing this game is still progressing. Yeah, it's moving, moving its way, American Angling. Should we fish along the uh, bridge here? Is there anything of interest around here? It's just kind of in deeper water. What do you think would even be out here in Africa? Who's that, who? Who's South African? Who can tell us what would be out? In a deep lake like this. Well, what should we be fishing for? <laughs> if we throw on a spinner, maybe we'll catch a tiger fish out here? I don't know. Look at the handbook. It says the tiger fish is in Lake Shore. Oh, this is the freaking. This is not a tiger fish. Show the tiger fish. There we go. Lake Shore, Shallow Lake, and Deep Lake. Okay. So it could be in the deep lake, I suppose. This says shallow lake, deep lake, up river. Hmm. Okay. What fish did you catch in Call of the Wild the Angler? We've caught all sorts of fish in Call of the Wild the Angler Magnet Bottle. We've caught grass carp and we've caught labios and yellow fish, the largemouth yellow fish for the most part. Um, African tiger fish. We've caught that mirror carp. Got a couple of different kerpers. If you have a specific species, so long as we haven't just fished for it not too long ago. Ooh, ooh, ooh look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, that's a big one. Dude, that's a huge one. Doesn't he look big? Looks bigger than the ones we've been catching. Look at him take out line. Dude, this is bigger than the ones we've been catching for sure. This is exciting. Dude, that guy was big. Gotta slow down the line he's taking out. Good, he's stripping us, man. We're at 95% drag. I don't even know if we can go to 100% drag. Will that break our line? Is 
Bro, we might get broken off by this guy. He was huge! I think he's gonna break us off. I can't go any higher than... Under, I guess 100%. Oh, dude. Nah, he's gonna break us off. Come on, man. We're at 100%. Come on. Come on! I'm fighting! Fighting for my life out here! 280 feet! Oh! Come on! Give us some line back! You're tired! Give up! <laughs> You're giving up on life! Ah, oh, he's gonna break us off! Come on, dude! Give up! Give up! I don't know if we're gonna ever get this guy in. 280 feet. No, no, no. We're dead. We're dead. It's just the little loop on our spool that's holding on, basically. Come on, give up. Give up. Give up! Oh my god, we've actually got 20 feet on him. I think he's just gonna spool us and break us off. This is just a false, false hope. False hope is what it is. Come on. Come on! This is wild. At 100% drag, he actually struggles to pull out. Don't repeat that in public. But we've got him at 250 now. Oh my god. Basically pulling him at 100% drag until our tension goes so high that our line's about to break and then we make it lighter so that our line doesn't break. And then we get him in for a little bit more. Taking him from 280 to 240. And he's in the 230s now. Come on, man. I'm sorry I'm not reading the chat right now. I'm just focused on looking at this wheel so that my line doesn't break. I still feel like this is all just for naught. And that it's just going to break us off at any point. We're going to fight this guy for 100 feet of line and then all of a sudden it's going to it's going to max out that red wheel and it's just going to break in half a second. I I won't be quick enough to to react to it or something. Get below 200. Oh, we're at 200.1. Yes, below 200 for the first time. We've actually got 88 feet on him now. 91 feet, I guess. Come on, baby. Dude, that was a huge tiger fish when he came up and grabbed that, though. That was so exciting. I honestly expected to do a few casts out here and then be like, all right, guys, well, I guess there's nothing out here. I don't know. I don't know what we're expected to catch out here. I just threw the spinner just in case there was something out here. And then that freaking humongous tiger fish came out of nowhere and snatched that. Oh my god. Come on. Give up. Give up. I cannot believe that our line was maxed out twice. It was maxed out twice. Now we're under 100 feet. Watch him have that secondary, like, uh, secondary energy or whatever. Second wind or whatever trait. Where we get him all the way in and then he pulls us out to 200 feet again. 
Watch. Just just wait. It's gonna happen. I just know it. Uh, we gotta watch our line at that point too to make sure he doesn't break it. Our line almost maxed out twice. Look at him. Look at him. There he is. This is gonna be a gold. I just know it. It's gonna be nothing. It's not even gonna be a diamond. <laughs> Look at him jump. Got him. Gold. Hey, that's okay. I'll take it. My God. I thought that line was going to break multiple times. Multiple times. I thought it was going to break <laughs> and we pulled it off. Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, exciting, exciting. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Cheers to that, everyone. That's that's great. Ah, top notch. A gold tiger fish. I didn't see how much money and XP we got. Obviously a new record of ours or new best rank. Sorry. 19.82 uh, pound African tiger fish. 2.1 feet. Top notch. Ooh, yes, sir, big boy. <laughs> I'd say. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, that's sweet, man. Exciting. You're gonna see that in short form. You're gonna you're gonna see I'm gonna I'm gonna record it from this live stream and put it on his short. It's only a gold, but that's exciting. And if the gold's here, you have to believe. You have to believe that the diamond tiger fish is out here too. So very cool. Very cool. All, there's honestly a, a part of me. And they got beer now. Is that, is that a, uh, a South African beer? I can't remember what we had, what I drank a lot of when I was in, when I was in Zambia. I can't remember what beer that was. There's a lot of tiger fish around here though. Um, so top notch. I'm going to mark this on the map though. So I don't forget it. Let's add a marker for gold. We're going to set the label for tiger fish. So we don't ever forget it. And then I'm going to try to rig up something crazy here. It might take salvaging everything that I have, but let's give it a go. I have this strong Capitan rod and I'm thinking if we take this stew rod reel and combine it with this 20 pound fluorocarbon that we had on our bottom rod and then put the number one spinner on here, I'm thinking if there is a big tiger fish out here, this rod could potentially get it. Whew. Hold on to your butts. Let's go. All right, let's let it sink down. Let it sink down here. I'm going to go 30 feet and start retrieving it. Oh, there is a good sized tiger fish right there. Biggest fan. All right on. Can you give me a tip on how to catch monster fish on Everglades? I can't catch it. The, the actual monster fish, the terror tarpon. It is difficult. You got to have that bassy bait. And uh, honestly, I caught the terror tarpon on my last bassy bait. So, I mean, I was just about having to go get more bait. It's just a hard fish to catch. Um, and it's more luck than anything. You just have to be lucky. So don't give up. Keep at it. You'll get it. A nice sharp tooth. I love catching them in real life. Fun fact in South Africa, we call them barbel. Absolutely. I'm, I'm aware. I am aware. I think it's all confusing because obviously we got actual barbel in Europe and stuff like that. And then, uh, then you all refer to catfish as barbel. Uh, yeah, it's all, all confusing. You're all confusing. What's going on? Why you, why you do the things you do? But yeah, I mean, man, if I knew a good darn barbel spot, I, I would go get one. Um, we tried last evening um, to catch one, and we caught two mirror carp. We're using bait that both the mirror carp and the barbel would like, um, just to try and um, just try and catch a fish. Because otherwise, we'd just be sitting there waiting for nothing. Um, but yeah, never saw a sharp-toothed catfish come up and grab it. 
Um, in fact, when I was filming for my video, I spent a good half hour trying to catch one and I finally caught one. That was it. So that was all she wrote. Well, <clears throat> I did switch to the number one spinner versus the number three we caught that gold on. So maybe that's the issue I'm making right now. Otherwise, I think maybe with this cast, I'll let it sink all the way down to the bottom. Maybe that'll help. I'm not really sure. We'll give this a cast and then maybe we'll switch back to the three. Switch back to the number three spinner and maybe that'll do better or something like that. I'm not sure. All right, just about to hit 95 here. Start coming up. We are coming straight up with the spinner. Did I catch a grass carp 22 pounds? I think it was, and it was cool. New PB probably, a, I don't know, a week ago. Oh, very nice. Very sweet. You catch three pound carp in Europe? Very cool, Magna Bottom. Pounds, I got you. Whoa, fish on, fish on. Whoa, 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 Good sized fish, you would think. Got that heavier line, got the heavier reel and the heavier rod. So hopefully, this is either gold. I mean, it almost broke the line and we were fishing for those grass carp and we never had to worry about it breaking the line, fishing at 90, 90% drag or anything like that. So hopefully this is a good sign, you guys. The ticket was going all the way down to look at that tiger fish jumping right there. We went all the way down to the bottom, like 90 feet, five feet deep and tried it there. And that bringing it straight up, we grabbed that one tiger fish's attention. So I'm hopeful this is a big one. Maybe it's a diamond. Maybe it is. I don't know. It, you know, it's hard to say that last one we caught on a lighter rod. So, I mean, it was, um, So I guess I, I can't compare it to this rod because it's so much stronger. This could be a big one. It could be a small one, you know. We got 30 some feet now, though. Oh, it seems to be a pretty good size one, though. Look at that thing. Let's see. Could just be a silver. Another gold, 20.36 pounds. Right oh guys. That is sweet. We are slaying. Slaying the gold uh, African tiger fish right now. That is awesome. I wish we could change our character, like spin him around so that we could get the sun on him. Unfortunately we can't. But very cool. Well, that is what you come to Africa for. African tiger fish. Let's go ahead and release that guy and keep on casting. If there's golds in there, there's gotta be, gotta be a diamond in there somewhere. Let's keep on going. We let it sink all the way down to the bottom. We caught that guy pretty easily. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see. Let's just drop all the way back in, uh, down and uh, reel in again. Halfway, <laughs> it's sinking, man. <laughs> Can't wait for the DLC to release. I'm having fun with it, man. It might just be because I have a soft spot for Africa, but Ugh, it's fun. All right, 93 feet deep. Let's go. Constant retrieve with the old spinner here at three, three speed. Hmm. Hmm. Another one. 
Are yellowfish one of the species? They are. Yeah, there's uh, largemouth and smallmouth yellowfish, Robert. 20 pound golds. I don't know how true it is. Oh, yeah. Well, shoot. We just found that out, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. 70 feet. We're about halfway on our uh, retrieve right now. After we've caught two fish in a row that are big, not getting one on one cast feels a little bit of a letdown, a little, little depressing. We'll, uh, we'll keep on casting. We've caught two golds in a row. There's got to be a diamond around here. Got to be. sink all the way down reel it all the way up tomorrow you go fishing for trout hey right on what uh what trout are you going for magnet bottle deep 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 You were trying to catch a pike and the walleye sna uh, snagged the bait, eh? Snatched, not snagged. All right, come on, tigers. Come on, tigers. You know a place where rainbow trout are stocked? Okay, I see. I'm with you. You go fishing on Sunday? Okay, very cool. What are you going to be fishing for? A oh, curly tail. Okay, T-Dog. I, I, I did see that. It was it was still waiting to see if it was a world record when I uh, when I saw it. Look at it taken out. Taken out line, guys. Could be a good sign. Could be bigger than the last one we caught. Could be bigger than the last one we caught. Oh, guys. Exciting. This is exciting. We were deep in conversation when we got the bite. Did the last one... Did the last one take us out much? I can't remember. But this guy's pulling out line. I guess the last one we, we caught, we were such a high drag. I think it must have taken out line. This guy's taking out line too, though. Forties now, thirties. Twenties. Doesn't look as big as the other ones. I mean, decent size. A third gold. We're catching gold after gold. We got gold piling up in here. There's just golds everywhere. We've definitely found the spot. We have found the spot for Tigerfish. Just catching the darn diamond at this point. Okay. A little top notch. Ooh, look at this guy by the boat. I see you. You're a pretty good sized little guy there. We just try to get him. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Got ya! <laughs> we saw him. We saw him right next to- watch this be the diamond. We just saw him swimming right next to the boat and we just threw out a tiny little cast there. <laughs> that would be the heck of it, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> We've been thrown out, waiting for it to fall down nine, 90 feet deep and all that jazz. This dude's just swimming next to the boat the entire time. It's a big old diamond. <laughs> that would be hilarious. He's a good sized fish, man. Oh, he's got second wind, second wind. He's pulling out. <laughs> Oh, these tiger fish are awesome. Such a cool fish. Come on, you. Ah, 
It's gonna be our fourth gold. A fourth gold! Goodness gracious, there's golds for days over here. Okay, all right, yeah. We got a little bit of sun with that one at least. Golds for days in this spot. That's awesome. I'll just remind everyone where we are. We're right underneath this bridge. Up in this northern lake up here. Fishing underneath the bridge. We are getting gold after gold after gold of these tiger fish. Right in this spot. Can we cast it on the bridges? I can't remember. Last I knew you couldn't. But can you now? You can. Okay. Let's try that direction. Carp love to catch them. Tiger fish though, because where I fish, there's just largemouth bass, carp, and barbel. Okay, I got you. But the tiger fish is one of your dream fish to catch. I get you. It's still one of mine too. I didn't catch one the time I was there. My wife did. Whoa, fish on! came out of nowhere desert thank you thank you for the sub you guys pulling out line Woo. golly but freaking tension almost got to the max there another good sized fish Come on. Oh, I hear pupper dog. Born, did you come down here to help me out? Huh? Yeah, you're my fishing dog. You're coming down to help us out. Reel this guy in. Oh, he's pulling out line, Bjorn. He's pulling out line. Luckily, you only need one hand to reel in fish and call the wild in. You can't move around, so you might as well just use one hand. So it gives me, gives me a hand to pet dogs with hey eh? people been asking about you yeah they thought that you didn't exist anymore birthday boy that's exactly right yeah I'd love to I'd love to show them to you except that freaking got this fish on <laughs> you know that thing we were doing darn fishing right Bjorn darn fishing this guy better be a diamond that real hand just looks flat out goofy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. The I I yeah, there's been a lot of a lot of uh rods and reels and cosmetics. It's the, the dang thing is like they they reach out to me and they say, "What do you think about this?" And every single time I feel like a negative Nancy just cuz I don't like what they come up with and I say I don't like it. <laughs> And I think they've just stopped asking me at this point because every time they ask me if I like something, I say no, I don't like it. But it's because of things like this. Like I think this rod handle, this little lever here is stupid. And uh, and I thought that the magic stuff was dumb. This is a good size one though. Oh, born, come back here. Be gold. Another gold, okay. What does that make, five golds now? We've just, we've been catching gold after gold after gold. Goodness Christ. Is, do you think it's just because our lure isn't like big enough to catch the diamond? Or do you think these are like the henchmen? These are the henchmen guarding the diamond? I'm not sure. How do you want to view it? That is the question. Come here, you. Come here, birthday boy. You just came over here. Now you're being stubborn. Come. If this was Oslo, he'd come right over. Not, not Bjorn. Bjorn, come here. People were asking about you. Come here. Wow. What a dude. Freaking just walked upstairs. He was like, uh, no. <sighs> these, these are the dogs I live with. Okay. Well, sorry, guys. Now you're just being a tease. Wow. 
He literally walked down the stairs to look at me one last time and then walked back up. What a dude. I'm telling you. He's old. He's getting old. He's getting cranky and, and sassy. He's always been sassy, but come on. Do you think we'll ever catch a diamond out of here? Or is it just going to be gold for days? Bitten by the... I know, right? Those teeth are mad. Mad lad teeth, man. A huge mirror. I'd love to catch a huge mirror as well, T-Dog. Tomorrow you're going fishing for brown trout in Europe. Hey, right on. That's cool. Protecting the Diamond King, not going to lie. Well, there's a lot of them in here, that's for sure. We've caught four or five of them so far. I wonder how much money we have. We've been getting like 200, uh, 200 gold, 200 money for each one we've been catching. Yeah, I, I saw that magnet bottle. You don't have to repeat yourself. Uh, it just takes me a little bit to read the chat, but I eventually do. Definitely make you not want to get in the water. I know, right? I know. The thing is, I believe anyway, with the, uh, I think he actually did go dive with the uh, African tiger fish in the, um, oh, what is that famous uh, delta in Africa? The something delta. He, he swam with the African tiger fish there. But the uh, Goliath tiger fish he caught in the Congo, totally different story. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a heck of a fish. I live in an area that had them. I'd love to go fishing for some giant ones. What are we talking about? Can get pretty big here too. What, what, what are we talking about? Are we talking about mirror carp or what? Do you want to fish in Africa on fishing planet again? Uh, I mean, I probably would. Yeah, I guess. He's also not a normal human. <laughs> it's true. He's a special guy. He set the bar pretty high. I have a lot of stuff I need to do in my life now to catch up to him. Oh, just regular suckers. I wasn't sure if you if you were saying sucker as in like, oh, I'd love to catch one of them suckers, you know, not like an actual, yeah, like a red horse sucker or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, should we move the boat? We didn't catch one on that cast. We shouldn't catch one on every cast, but still, maybe something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Would be nice if they had a trolling motor and then I could just kind of scoot over a little bit. Four pound brown trout in Europe, nice. You're from South Africa, very nice, Epic Snipes. Ever get the chance, they fight harder than a two, three pound largemouth. Gotcha. I, I agree. Rod pods would be pretty sweet to see in the game. I agree, man. Hmm. Well, if we've caught gold after gold after gold, you would certainly believe this is the spot with the diamond. We could possibly not have a large enough hook for the diamond. We could just not be casting where the diamond is. I don't know. Lots of different things. Lots of different factors, I suppose. Yeah, maybe so. 14 pound sucker? Really? Well, the, the, the title of the stream is Call of the Wild the Angler, so it wouldn't make much sense to uh, switch games, would it? Shoot. 
Zenvi. Thank you, thank you. Let's uh let's change the boat around, a little orientation change. And then we'll um try try here. I do believe it's got to be around here. Got to be. Could be on the other side of the bridge. You lost a five pound pike in Europe? Oh man. You would just be happy to have some of the equipment Mr. Wade has access to. <laughs> yeah. I would be happy being able to go to some of the places he goes to. I already have the equipment. I just need to be able to go there. Nothing. You think he's on the other side of the the bridge, maybe? I feel, I feel like I have to stay here until we find that diamond. We've got, what, four or five golds out here? There's got to be a diamond out here. I'd feel silly if I left without catching it. Thirteen pounds, but it's not too difficult to find a ten for sure. You think so? When you're fishing in Alaska and a random bear comes up to you and says, Give me your salmon if you don't want to be fish chum. <laughs> Seriously, my god. If you want to live. I hope you're having good I am having a pretty good day, man. Half day at work. I uh, my last beer from St. Patty's Day I had I have. Um, working my way through that. Probably gonna keep streaming till uh, dinner time, five o'clock, and I. It would really improve my day if I caught the diamond uh, African tiger fish, but uh, at the moment, oh, that guy. Go get it, buddy. Swim right up to the boat. He didn't go for it again. Where'd you go? Oh, he's way over there now. All right, 20 pound on the ultralight rod while trout fishing. Ooh. Go to sleep, it's 12 p.m. 12 p.m., that's noon. We go maybe, maybe we should go under the bridge. I love this maneuver we're doing. Let's do one last cast from this side all the way down to the bottom. Then I think I'll switch to the opposite side of the bridge and do like two more casts. And then we might move on to another area. But gosh darn. We caught like five golds in this spot. Would have thought we had found the diamond by now. Mouth for salmon. I hope they do a Florida version of this game. I hope they add multiplayer tournaments for target species. Would be fun. Yeah. 
You never know. It's uh, it's difficult for games to make money if they uh, give out free maps. You know, you can't you can't pay your workers with with monopoly money. You gotta pay them with real dollars. And if no one's buying anything, you can't really have real dollars to pay them with. You know. Did the fishing fight have an update in Call of the Wild the Angler? Or what are we talking about? Well, I mean, Call of the Wild the Angler has multiplayer. All right, well, that's not good. Let's do two more casts from the opposite side of the bridge. catching all those it's right in front of us so it's just jumped over there <laughs> yeah well if you have a friend that has the African map you can you can join their game and play play the African map with them and you don't have to buy the DLC they did they did mention that that was something you could do so if you have a friend that has the map you can play with them Previous finish yeah give it a go 24 pound float rod but I don't know what line to put on if you got a 24 pound float rod I would try to keep the weight or the the strength of your line before it below 24 pounds just to make sure that the strength of the line doesn't break your rod all right last cast last cast before we move it along ripped me to sub and what ripped you to sub was the emerald lake beginner series okay right on they want people to keep playing they will have to add something free for a while they want people to still play yeah i don't really agree with that but i mean if they want people to still play they gotta create stuff for people to do because if they do everything then they need more stuff to do um doesn't have to be free just needs to be something to do What game is this? Monopoly Online. This is Call of the Wild the Angler. Master Duo is your first stream. Hey, right on, man. Zachariah Cornish, you're glad you're not the only one with the struggle bus with the crankbait today. I swear the bites are super random. Constant retrieval of Twitch. You know, I have been using this darn spinner and it's been working like a charm. However, we just haven't been able to find the darn uh, diamond tiger. Just frustrating. But uh, I said two casts from this side, so I guess we'll move on. But at least we found a good spot for goodness gracious. I mean, let's see. We had five, five golden tigers in a row. Golds on golds on golds, man. That's awesome. Well, we found a good spot for tigers, just not good enough, I suppose. Not good enough for the diamond. I'm seeing fish swimming underneath us now, and I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> oh well. Let's move it along somewhere else. Let's see. What should we go for? People were asking about grass carp, and we had been catching grass carp for a while. Did we attempt to go after another grass carp? What was that? Oh, we're almost level 25, too. Maybe if we catch a few grass carp, we'll level up. 
And I believe there was a line upgrade. No, it was a it was a hook upgrade at 25. But maybe there's a line upgrade at 25 too. We have 1400 gold. Hopefully that's enough to do some stuff. Let's change this rod to a bottom fishing rig with the blinder. We don't have to salvage this rod. This, that, that, 19, yes sir. Number three hook maybe, and some corn. I'm not sure how much corn we have left, but we'll we'll give it a go. Should we catch another one of those little kerpers just for fun? There's usually a lot of kerpers out. There's also bass out here too. Last bass I caught was on the um, was on this spinner bay. Maybe we'll find one. Ooh, something just jumped there. Let's see, maybe there's some. Ever play Fish Sim World? It's pretty good. Uh, you know, people have recommended it to me. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, we'll give it a maybe give it a go someday. I, I I just play a lot of games. I it's hard to play them all. Uh, I'll I'll try some stuff here and there, but it's hard to play every game out there. Because if you put out one video over a game, the first thing that happens usually is that people comment asking you when the when, when a video will come out for another game and it just feels like you're constantly playing catch up and it's just like well god i people had been talking about fisher online you know for for forever and so i gave it a gave it a whirl and um but fishing sim world is that is that fishing sim world pro tour I think that if it is Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, I have played that version of the game. Um, that's a grass carp. Go get that corn, Grassy. You know you want to... You, right there. Go get the corn. Get it. Might be too small. Um, but yeah, we have a few videos playing Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, if so. New PB Pike at St. Croix, 33 pounds. Very nice. Oh, okay, right on, Master Duo. As if that's true, your name is obviously Master Duo, not Simon Master. Let's go. Fish on. Fish on. Trying to get to level 25 right now. We'll catch a few grass carp and see if it does it. Bronze grassy there. Right on. Grass carp are fun. Fun fish. Not enough, evidently. We'll keep on going. We should, we should be pretty close, though. Yeah, didn't really move us too much, did it? 66 pound terror tarpon. Ooh, ooh. First time catching a stream. What's up? How's your day going? It's going well. Thanks for asking. Oh, I missed it. I'll have to pay attention to the replay. Give me a second. Oh God, the replay is so far behind. No, it's not. It's not super. I thought it was way far further behind. Saber Vanson, thank you, thank you for the for the sub. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. No bait. Oh, we finally ran out of corn, did we? You freaking dude. What uh, what else do they go for? 
I literally was gonna go back to the store once we hit 25. Can we uh can we put pearl barley on this? No, hook size max five. Oh man. Corn we do have dough. What's the max hook size for dough? We can do dough. Okay, here we go. We're good. We're still going. Corn. They love corn, though. If you're trying to catch your first grass carp and you have access to corn, throw that sucker on there. They love that. Ug is it Agnius? Agnius. Right on. Hi. How's it going? Game huge. Has a lot of DLCs and it's more realistic. What are we talking about? Fishing Sim World? I... Yeah, I saw Fishing Sim World is pretty arcadey. I mean, it's pretty similar to Call of the Wild, the angler, anyway. We need more of these early streams. Well, I had to take a half day off of work to do this early stream, so... I wouldn't think it unless it's the weekend, but usually I'm busy on the weekend, so it usually doesn't work there either. Jingle jangle. Gotcha! Idiot. Strong little fish here. Taking out a little bit, little bit of line. Was anyone here in the very beginning when we caught that uh, potential gold grass? Grass carp. I came out here, same as this right now, and uh, we hooked into a grass carp that, without making it stop once, I think, immediately took us out to 230 or 200 and some odd feet and broke us off. We had no chance with that guy. He, uh, he immediately took us out for all the line on our spool and just completely spooled us. <laughs> it was hilarious. But no access to grass car. Ah, that's understandable. Not many do, I suppose. Come on, you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was going and fishing for that. I'm hesitant to learn another system. Yeah, I understand. 8,426 uh, score on this guy. 18 pound grass carp. So we eat. So we eat. I feel like, um, there we go. 25. Whoa. That's right. Couldn't have said it better. 25. Let's go. Okay. Let's go back to the store. Cause I want to see what we unlock. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna do a little halftime show, but we might not watch the whole time. I just need to go use the old use the old men's room. So give me a, give me a moment. Pro Angles halftime show brought to you by none of these brands. Now a message from our sponsor. Hey man, yeah. So I know like uh, you like video games and stuff, but have you ever considered like watching some real life fishing or hunting if you like the game so much? I mean, I don't want to make you do anything you're uncomfortable with or something, but uh, like if you like it in the video game, you know it's like at least 100,000 times cooler to do that stuff in real life, right? And you could like watch all of that on the MDO, you know, the modern day outdoorsman, where Bill goes out in real life and does some of the same stuff you see him do in the video games. I mean, I think it's pretty cool if you ask me but what do i know i'm just a voice you've never even heard of you know i mean i could be in a prison for forgery or fraud or something i mean you wouldn't trust a guy like that but luckily i'm not in prison i'm just i'm just some disembodied voice telling you to go check out bo's other channel the modern day outdoorsman so like go on your phone or open it up on another tab and subscribe okay it's like the fastest growing outdoor channel on youtube and you don't want to miss being a part of that you know i mean don't look up the legitimacy of my claim but that's what people tell me okay so yeah i'm like talk past my time but yeah hopefully all these clips laying in the background will convince you to go check it out i'm just gonna go wait for them to transition to another screen which should happen anytime and now a glimpse into gaming months past hurry up and move already ice guy crazy boo oh it's the fisherman's life for me fishing on the beach 
All right, we're back. We're back. Let's do it. Let's see what the old shop has. Should have went and made me another drink. This one's about to run out. Okay, dokie. We got new vehicles. New vehicles. Oh, we unlocked these at level 25. We'll ride on. And this last boat. Fantastic. All right. I want to look at. The heck, I thought I went over all of them. This last green one, I guess. Okay, so as far as match rods are concerned, looks like this has a max line strength. Okay, so. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is a level 100 rod. He's Louise. How do we have this rod? Where do, when do we? Oh, it's. Oh, we just don't have enough money for it. It's a 22 pound rod. Okay. All right. All right. So we just unlocked this one too. The graduation 44 pounder. Gotcha. I'm with you. I'm with you. Unlocked this bait casting rod. What about spinning rods? just unlocked this 22.05 pound advocate for 3,000 that new lines did we unlock new lines we got a 22 pound line huh okay do we get it we need to make sure we get corn let's get corn can't forget corn got to have lots of corn Enjoying the corn. Lots of corn. Okay, soft plastics, good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, the darn thing is I don't have enough reputation. Oh, we did unlock all the hook sizes. Fantastic. Interesting, okay. As far as spinners go, we unlocked the one two-watt spinners. Mmm, interesting, interesting, okay. We have all the spinner baits. We have all the poppers. Look at this guy. That's different. Different looking popper. Can't imagine it makes much of a pop. That's interesting. We have all the frogs available to us now. Top notch. Level 25 unlocked a lot, man. Okay, all the swim baits. Come on. And almost all the jerk baits. There's still a, a two odd jerk bait. 40 and we have all the crankbaits available to us now too right oh huh well I wonder if the crankbaits not a bad idea hmm okay well that's interesting oh my god Look at all these freaking jig heads I'm like this with notifications on my phone, too. I can't help but get rid of all the notifications. It drives me bonkers. And we got new reels. Did we? Eight. This is a 15.43 pound reel. And we got this one, too, at 22. That's nice, man. What uh, what do we currently have? We have this one at 12. What's this? 15. That's honestly not bad. Because I believe the spinning rod I'm using right now is pretty good. Pretty sure, anyway. What is this? 13 point... What is the point of using these bait casting reels? I guess this is 15.43. Okay. Okay, so as far as spinning reels, uh, spinning rods go, we have this one. Max line strength of 15.43. Okay. And then... Max drag of 15.43, so that's going to put it pretty much right at the line. And then the line we have on is probably 15.43. That makes sense. Okay. So really, the upgrade we need is a spinning rod. We need a stronger spinning rod, but really, this advocate, which is only 6.89 feet long, short man 22 pounds are there better ones in the um, local souvenirs this is a spinning rod it's 6.89 
4.92. I don't understand the short rods in this game. It drives me bonkers. 6.89. Okay. Well, it looks like that advocate and the spinning rod is probably the next one, unless we switch to bait casters. In which case, what is... This is going to be 6.56, 22 pounds. 22 pounds for the max line strength there. And then we could use that. This is 15.43 pounds. That might be the way to go, guys. We might have to go with uh, this 6.56 foot worky ticket. What a weird name. Unless we wait three more levels and get that. Okay. Well, it doesn't help us in this current situation, but it's good to see. Where should we go? Where should we go? That is the question. How does this map compare to the Spain DLC? Um, I didn't spend a lot of time in the Spain DLC, but I mean, it's probably similar. Spain did not have the African Tigerfish. Um, and this one does, so it's automatically better in my book. Bye. Bye. Um, but it just depends on what you want to fish for, I suppose. Depends on what you want to fish for. Where should we go now, I guess is the question. Stripper out there. We go for this bloodworm. Ah. How, does this, how has your day been so far? Day's been good. I've been enjoying the day. Worked a half day uh, so that I could stream this game. I put out three videos that were shorter, but I've got the first look one. I'm still working on it. So hopefully I can get it out tomorrow or something like that. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Been a pretty good day though. Now doing the live stream. What's your fish you want to catch in real life? I've got so many. i got so many I want to catch in real life. It's hard to, um... I mean... If you just if you just play Fishing Planet, pretty much every fish you see on there I want to catch. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not a bad way to go about it, I suppose. We did not have a blood worm on there. Now we do. Just a bunch of Kerpers just swimming around here. Hopefully they'll go for this blood worm now. Oh, there he goes. Looks like a little red breast. Maybe? I think so. Oh, just take it already. Good God. Can't imagine rolling anything shorter, yeah. Red breast Kerper Silver! Right on. Taking part today off for YouTube commit. Nikki, thanks for the sub. Well, I appreciate it, explicit. I you know. It's a special day. People are excited to see the new game, and um and I was excited to play it more after you know filming enough for the videos and stuff like that. So I was excited to play it for all of you. I just don't, I, I don't know a good spot for the catfish, so that's unfortunate. Um, shoot, maybe we go up here. Maybe it's in a lake. I don't know. Let's look at what it says for the, uh, it does say upriver too. So maybe we need to go, shoot, should we go back to the river? What do you think is in this lake? It says shallow lake, deep lake, upriver, liver, pellets, regular, redworm. So should we just should we put just throw a red worm on this and just throw it out there and see if there's anything in here. I haven't fished this lake yet, so maybe this is the magic lake for catfish or something. I don't know. Looks like this lake is usually a lot smaller with all the darn trees in it. Good gravy.
20 feet deep? Who knows? Wouldn't that be hilarious if just this random lake just had a bunch of African catfish in it? I've been searching for them this entire time and we finally found them. That would be awesome. 9 p.m. for you. How late is it for me? It is 3.45 in the afternoon. Dude. This is either a carp or a catfish. Barble. My mistake for you South Africans out there. Please be a catfish. That would just make my day. Oh, it's a carp. <laughs> 54 XP and 106 credits for this guy. All right. All right. Super small. 7.86 pounds. Well, there's carp out here. Let's keep going. Keep going. Let's do a few casts. Wait a little bit. At least from your perspective, it, you know, it would be a great time to be live, except that usually I am working during this time. So I understand, you know, there's been multiple people during this live stream um, who have said that this is a better time. Um, but unfortunately, unless you're going to pay my yearly salary, I can't quit my job and I can't do a half day every day. And the weekends is when I spend time with my wife and we actually go out and do things that don't involve work and YouTube. So it just, it, it doesn't work out for the most part. I'm sorry. You know, if, uh, if, if any number of factors worked in our favor that we could continue to live stream during this time, I just, I would, I would do it for you. Yeah, it's just going to be little carp after little carp. Think there's any bigger ones in here? Or you think they're all just small ones? We're using a size three hook. I didn't think I was that small. For just a oh, it's for a red worm. We can't even. Well, let's throw on a different uh, bait, I guess. We do pellets. How has the weather been for you? It's been very good for you. It actually snowed a foot today. I was going to ask Carly if it snowed in um in her neck of the woods cuz it it snowed for us. We woke up this morning to a foot of snow on the driveway, so I had to go out there and shovel, which is just another reason why I wasn't able to get the video out today. Just lots of things. Lots of things stacked up against it. Been playing Fishing Planet and just got this game on Epic Games for free. Tips on how to progress faster. You know, lucky you, I actually wrote down my top five tips and I was going to put them out in video form. So I'll, I'll test them on you and you let me know what you think. So get a pen and paper and write this down. My top one, my, my number one tip was that time is king in Call of the Wild, the Angler. Different time of day, depending upon where you're at, Different fish are biting. So if you have a mission to catch a certain fish in a certain spot and you're trying everything you can and you're just not catching that fish, honestly, the problem is that it's probably just not the right time and you should go off and do something else. And it's very frustrating. I find it very frustrating because in, in Fishing Planet, if I want to fish for a specific fish, I just go and I fish for it. And if it's not the right time, I change the time and I fish for it. And I'm allowed that luxury of just being able to fish for things, but not in Call of the Wild, the angler. Time moves independently, and so you just have to deal with it. You can't change it on your own, um, which is very frustrating, I feel, anyway. Um, so, yeah, time is king. That's my number one tip. Number two tip is the pump and reel. Every time you're fishing, unless it's super small, you're most likely going to have to pump up your rod and then reel in the slack. 
uh, fishing or call of the wild the angler like just depends on you doing this so make sure you do that um, then my third tip now I want to catch a carp better than sitting there not catching anything my third tip was experiment and by experiment I mean these things explore change your water depth if you're fishing with a float or fishing with a lure um, change your hook sizes if you throw out the exact bait that a fish wants and they're still not going for it the issue is most likely your hook size all the wild the angler doesn't let you know this in fishing planet if you're using the wrong hook size a fish will come over and nibble at your bait to let you know it's the right bait and then it will swim away because it's the wrong hook size and the game actually lets you know that it's the wrong hook size in that way not in call of the wild angler it doesn't tell you squat just nothing happens you don't catch anything fish just continue to swim around so keep changing your hook sizes keep changing your baits if you see a fish and you think it's one fish and you throw out the bait for it and it doesn't work then try a different bait for another similarly sized fish and it'll most likely be that other fish because I did that during the video. I thought I was fishing for a yellow fish the entire time and I was trying every bait in the freaking literal book um, and I never got it. Changed it to what I thought would go like a mogul would go for and immediately caught it. It was a mogul the entire time, not a yellow fish. So just keep changing baits is another one. If you think by the size of the fish, a size 8 hook should be working perfectly, the bait is probably wrong. Or your fish identification is probably wrong. It's a number of things that could be wrong. Um, and, then, and then the time. Experiment with time, which was all, already my number one tip. And then, for number four, um, fast travel points. Travel around the map and gather up all your fast travel points. That makes traveling around so much easier and whatnot and then my fifth tip was complete challenges complete challenges they give you a lot of money they give you a lot of bait and gear they'll give you entire rods and reels just by completing challenges and call the wild the angler so give that a go and those are my top five tips hopefully it helps you out you kids will never understand when you're older you never have time you never have time it's always gone. It's always gone doing something else. Okay. What should we do with our lives? Goodness gracious. I want to go back to this river, but at the same time... Come on. Let's go here. It does say that the catfish are upriver. I don't know what upriver refers to. I don't. Don't know what it refers to. Kind of a cool screenshot, though. Um... When it says up river, does it mean up this river? Like this is down river down here. So is up river up here? Can we catch a catfish up here? At the same time, is this up river? Cause this kind of looks up river for me. So should we go over here and fish for catfish? I don't know. What does up river mean? Let's go over here. Maybe if this is up river, we'll catch a catfish right by the waterfall. We'll find out. Got them noted down. Right on, Owen. Married 15 years. Right on, Saber. It snowed Monday night, which I'm sure was nice for those fighting the fire across the road, but it was just a dusting. I don't think it is, it's to snow anytime soon. Okay. I gotcha. Where is the freaking path? There it is. Fifth trout. Ooh, third trout, fifth trout. Very cool. And the reason I said it's better time for me is because it's 3 a.m. usually when you're alive. I, I understand. You know, that's how the world works, unfortunately. If it, if it was the same time everywhere across the world, then it would just be, it would just be better for live streams because then my 7.30 live stream would work for everyone. Nobody look at this. This isn't, there's nothing there. Don't look. If you didn't see anything, then that's great. I was told not to show off anything collectible and there was definitely not a collectible there. So don't think that there is. All right, we 
found a waterfall. Can we cast down here? Or is this too... Is this too far? Alright, you think we'll catch a catfish right here? We have the right stuff. Let's throw on the liver. Number three hook. How long am I streaming today? I'm streaming for another hour and four minutes. Yeah, I'll try it there. 60 pound pike with three rods. Ooh, very cool. It's relaxing in that way. I do like this game. Feels more realistic than Fishing Planet. But at the same time, it feels like a slow process, but it's relaxing in that way. <laughs> oh! If, you, if you're used to playing Fishing Planet, you'll get frustrated by a lot of things in this game. Um, because there's just a lot of things you can't do that you can do in Fishing Planet. And, um, I mean, the, uh, it sounds bad, but you just honestly have to get over it. It took me a long time to get over it. On some things, I'm still not over it, and I refuse to be over it. I just casted my rod. I would love to be able to move right now, but I cannot. I'm stuck here, and I cannot move. Same thing when you're reeling in the fish. You can't move. And that's just honestly how they've designed the game. It's all very, like, location-based, where your person is and everything, and how it is situated with everything else on the map and all the other people, because it is a multiplayer game and all that jazz. And I've heard that that's also the reason why, um... We might not get rod pods. Ever. Like, you might not ever be able to fish with multiple rods in this game, too. Because of how the player is located in position with the fish. And, uh, and the locations and people and all that jazz. Well, we may never be able to fish with multiple rods. Um, just the other day, they said that the Wells Catfish couldn't be added into the game because it wasn't... Like, the game wasn't designed to allow the Wells catfish, someone said. I mean, I hear this for so many things, I don't even know if it's true anymore. In South Africa, the fish like to travel upstream, so maybe they mean at a stream just leaving a body of water running down. I mean, I, that's why I thought maybe, like, trying this, um... Trying this waterfall could be a good spot, but evidently not. There's nothing here. So... Maybe they mean at a stream, just leaving a body of water running down. So what do you think? Like... Like here, maybe? Coming out of this, um, coming out of this little lake, maybe? Or... This is another waterfall. Maybe it will fish above the waterfall. I haven't made it out in that direction yet. It will do that. I think there's a car. There's got to be a car place here. Don't you think? Whoa, there's a boat out there. Hello, boat. No, there's not a car thing here. Okie dokie. No car thing, but there is a boat thing there. <laughs> How much will the DLC cost? Um, I don't know, $7? Something like that. $7.99? I have no idea. Probably listed in some PDF they sent me, but I don't, I don't know. Aren't they all usually around like seven dollars USD? Try a deeper part of the river. Okay. Yeah, I could try a deeper part of the river. The, di the difficulty is that it's so hard to get to the river. 
I showed this earlier in the stream. There's no fast travel point to the river currently. Jaxie Beard was here while I was complaining about this, so hopefully it gets fixed. He said that the game was designed to be that way because it's an open world game, which I think is just the excuse of the week. But uh, I hope that it is fixed. I hope that they add a fast travel point to the river because the river is a fun place to fish and there's just no way to really get there. And it's very frustrating. It seems like a very big oversight to me anyway. Evidently we missed our turn point there. There was a, oh, you fricka fracka. You fricka fracka. There was a turn point over here evidently. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, so obviously it didn't exist. You can't pull fast ones on bow angles. <laughs> God dang. Where are you, road? Whoa! That it? Evidently. You have to drive across the road. Oh, you stupid. Get out of the way, trees. All right. Well, here is a stream. We go gather the uh, fast travel point first. I think there may be one over here. At least a dock. Whoa, that looks dangerous. Challenge board there. Yeah, I love it too. Always try to worm into new bodies of water. I gotcha. You need four gigabytes of RAM. Sorry, I'm trying to read the chat and drive and it's not working. Not working out well for me. go foul oh they gave us a fast travel point for this dock okay that makes a lot of sense hopefully there's african catfish over here Can we just run over here and see could get in a boat i suppose oh this looks like freaking african catfish central I love that the waterfall is silent too. <laughs> we don't have to deal with a really loud waterfall. All right, come on, baby. Give us an African catfish, sharp toothed catfish. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you need a four gigabyte or an eight gigabyte. I mean, eight gigabyte would be better, I would assume, but I'm not sure. It will most likely be a free uh, a DLC to purchase, Yasko. What's up, Toot? When is the next live stream? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. This, this is what African sharp tooth catfish fishing is like. It's going to a place like this, tossing out and hoping that you catch one, but you're just sitting here with nothing going on for the longest time. Let's try a float rod, dude. It's 25 feet deep. It's not super deep. Let's take this, 
turn it into a float rod. Come on, baby. Give us some. Best thing that happened to you all week or all year so far. Oh, golly. Mm. I did get, I got my, um, my big old uh, weight rack or whatever I've been wanting to buy since I was a teenager. Um, so that was pretty exciting. Got that last week. That's why I was late to my uh, to my live stream by a few minutes. Uh, it was because I was setting all that up for the first time and I really wanted to check it out. But I got a, a Rep PR 5000 weight rack. I've been wanting it for a while, so it's probably the best thing that happened this past week. What about what about you? It's like you're in a cave when you can't see the sky. Oh, I know. Well, it looks like a pretty cool spot to fish. Just no fish here, evidently, because we ain't catching anything. Let's throw a spinner out here just to see. Low rod's not working. Bottom rod's not working. I wonder if we'll catch anything on a spinner. We have to uh, disassemble this rod to do it, though. <laughs> you will assemble and disassemble rods at will. Maybe we'll catch a yellowfish or something. Hundred and twenty pound flathead in Florida last week on holiday. Hundred and twenty pound flathead. Like the catfish? Love your videos. Very helpful being new to the fishing planet and great content for information. Well right on, Michael. Glad to hear it. I have no idea. Oh, we caught it. We caught a lake uh, yellow fish. Is it a smallmouth yellow fish? It is a smallmouth yellow fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We, we'd been catching largemouth ones, and I haven't caught a uh, smallmouth one for quite a while, so that's awesome. We caught one again. Looks like we're fishing in blood right now. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he's small, but I like him. Small and spunky. So I like my yellow fish. All right, I'm going to I'm going to mark that on the map real quick. Yellow fish. Silver. Small mouth yellow fish. Gotcha. Let's see if there's more in here. Eighty kg. A flathead cat. Like a 120 pound flathead catfish in Florida. Was it the state record? I didn't even know Florida really had good catfish. But that's that's a pretty good flathead catfish. Finally made it to a live stream, MDC. Right on, man. Glad you made it. Nothing out that way. Ooh, I see it. I see it. Oh, it's taking out line. That's a good size yellowfish, dude. 
That was a big one. That was a big one. Well, you'll have to send me a pick. I'd love to see it, man. That is a giant. You caught a 120 pounder in Florida. That's just shocking. I mean, that, that would have to be close to the state record. Dude, I think this yellowfish is just too strong, man. Reminds me of that first gold tiger fish we caught. Just strong, dude. We finally figured it out. No. Get tired. Get tired. Just ran into a diamond yellowfish all out of nowhere. Come on. Get below 200. There we go. Oh, just for him to take us back over 200. Well, we are just fighting him for these. To get under 200, he is just fighting us. We get under, get close to 200, and he takes us back to 210. And just keep on going like that. A lot like fighting that one gold tiger fish for the first time. 189. 186. Now he's just swimming towards us, it feels like. Must be a chubster. It's gotta be. Gotta be a big one. Well, when he came up and took the uh, spinner, I immediately thought, oh my god, that's a big one. Compared to the ones we've been catching. Like, that's a big one. You know? So, I had that, you know, that first initial reaction of like, wow, that's a... Whatever it is, if it's another smallmouth yellowfish, that's a big one. 121 get under there we go come on I'm yet to catch a diamond on this map so it would be cool to find one we never caught any golds over here so it could just be a gold I suppose but my goodness about to be under a hundred there we go Nineties, eighty nine. 
Yeah, just a just a normal catfish. Oh, you're still referring to the flathead. Twenty six feet. Come on. Sixteen feet now. It's up at the top of the water, too. Watch it be a carp or so. Dude, this is a massive one. If this is a smallmouth yellowfish, we just caught a freaking monster. Oh, it's a largemouth. Oh. Well, it's still probably a decent largemouth then. Come on. Get in. Let's go. Silver. Only a silver. Oh, 257 credits. Goodness gracious. It's so dang dark right now. We can barely see it. Holy crap. 23 pound largemouth yellowfish and only a silver. That is wild. What a freaking lunker. I can't believe that. They must get so massive. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something, I suppose. I like that it's so dark we can't see my guy's ugly mug right now. Well, cool. Took a few uh, screenshots that are so dark we can barely see it. Let's keep it. I believe that's in the known issues list, though. The issue is that there's no moon showing for some reason. And the moon is what provides light at night for the Call of the Wild, the angler maps. And uh, it's not showing at night for some reason. So they said that was on their known issues list and they're going to fix it. But, uh, but very interesting. Well, now I'm curious if there's a freaking gold yellowfish and a diamond one. I want to make our rig that we used for the uh, the giants. Let's let's uh, let's destroy this real quick. Let's make that lure rig again. Um, yeah, with a number one spinner. Let's give that a few casts and see if there's anything huge in here. Though I'll tell you what, I do want to go back to daytime because we can't freaking see what we're fishing for. Um. I, everyone asks because they want to see the African sharp tooth, but the thing is, if we catch it at that point, you're not going to be able to see it anyway because <laughs> it's so dang dark. <laughs> so the African sharp tooth catfish, I think we'll just have to wait until that's fixed, but we'll get it someday. I need to put some eye drops in my eyes. It's drying out. What is it about your hobby? You all watch this. I'm going to go get my eye drop. Way out here. Is it the freedom? Wandering in search of that perfect spot. You've made your own path through these hills. Tasted the fresh water of our lakes, our rivers. You've been on the water with friends at sunrise and helped the locals long past sunset. But you just keep coming back. At this spot, you got a pretty good idea what's lurking beneath the surface. But there's only one way to find out. Whether it's the one you write home about or the one that gets away, that feeling, it will get you up. That whether it's your first time or your hundredth time, you never know what you're going to catch until it's caught. Call of the Wild, the Angler.
Mama Kawe Ame Embabwe Tu Bakunugus Fundi Sanda Masiko Look who I brought with me for a piece of cookie. For a piece of peanut butter Girl Scout cookie. Ah, oh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, hi. Can I say hi to everyone? I haven't seen everyone in a while. Yeah. Big dog. Big dog. Oh, the little boy's here too. <laughs> come here, little boy. You wanna come? I'll give you a piece of cookie too. No, not you, big dog. You already got a piece of cookie. Come here, little boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, and the little dog. Yeah, happy dog. All right. Both got a piece of peanut butter cookie. Handsome old. Oh yeah, you would be talking about the dog. Obviously not me. If it's, if it's handsome involved. I'm the baby boy. Oh God. Uh, difficulties, technical difficulties. Over 100 likes, hey, right on. They need lodges, I agree. What is it about? <clears throat> yep, I ate all the cookies. No reason for you to stick around now. <laughs> hmm? Well, that's a nice rock. Okay, you still think they're in here? The old yellowfish? Let's give it a go. See a little canary curper. What's your biggest fish in um, Call of the Wild, the angler? Yeah, it's the, um, oh, the big pike, the big pike that's in Norway, the legendary one. I can't remember its name. Procrastinator or whatever. <laughs> it's Bo Angles. David Provis in the house. How's it going, David? Good to see you, man. The old gray beard. Right on. David the Con Con. The um the 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 main character in the Terror Tarpon horror story has arrived. You've somehow lived through the Terror Tarpon. You must have made him a deal for your soul or something. And you can't even play the violin for it. Jeez. What good did that do, huh, Bjorn? Or was it a fiddle? Was it a fiddle? Do I have a plan for 70,000 subs? Not 
really. Probably just keep on going. Maybe 75. 75 seems, sounds like a good number. I bet we could hit 75 by the end of the summer. Look at this smallmouth buffalo, or a smallmouth buffalo. Smallmouth yellowfish swimming below us right now. Got off work, time to relax. Hey, heck yeah, Gerald Bates. That's a tiger fish right there. Well, we're just using two biggest spinners, I guess. Let's throw on the three spinner. See, that looked like a yellow fish too. Let's throw on the three spinner. Give it another go. Now let's just try it. What are the chances we catch another one of those largemouth yellowfish that almost breaks our line? <laughs> uh, what are the chances? So this could catch one of these yellowfish swimming around us right now, or it could catch tigerfish, which we also just saw. So we got good we got a good options. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's taking that line. Must be getting, uh, it hits you. David knows too. Once you hit 30, it's all downhill from there. Your memory's gone. Your joints start to hurt. How am I? I'm doing quite well. Finn, how are you? Did we lose our music? I think the music finally shut off after a few hours. This is a yellowfish, I believe. Another silver smallmouth yellowfish. Well, good deal. Cool, cool. Better mark that we caught a uh, silver largemouth yellowfish over here, too. Yeah, this is the large and smallmouth yellowfish spot. This is where they be. You want one of them? You, you come here. Oh shoot, I forgot to uh, restart our music. Here we go. Special video for 100,000. I'll, I'll do some special stuff for 100,000. Yeah, for sure. I'll do some special stuff for 100,000. That's a promise. That's a Bo Angles promise. Yeah, that guy's taking out line. We must have got another largemouth. You know, that fish we were trying to catch with the bigger rod, but we never seemed to catch it, so then we went back down to the smaller rod, and now we've caught it again. <laughs> of course, that's how it works. He's going to take us out to 200 feet again, and then we're going to have to fight him for the next five minutes. Is this game free? It is free on Epic Games right now, evidently. Though not the South Africa map. But that just means that you can get to a higher level that way when you come to the South Africa map after you buy the DLC, you can uh, fish for some of the bigger fish. It all works out in the end. Come on, man. Stay under 100 feet, please. I don't want to fight you that much. Takes you three days to recover from an all-nighter. Oh, I can't remember the last time I did an all-nighter. Good God, you're doing better than me, man. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics on this map are awesome i agree if there is one thing i do like it is the the look of the fish in the map
don't have your PC with you. I, you know, I would assume it's going to be free for quite a while, so th I wouldn't think there's a rush. I don't know for sure, of course, but I, I wouldn't think so anyway. So we were seeing that the next real upgrade point for this rod was going to be basically $3,000. So we've got a ways to go to get there. Oh, has he finally gotten tired? I think he's finally gotten tired. Yep. Not maxing out our uh, drag anymore at 100%. That must mean he's getting tired. Oh, it's home free from here. Oh, he's he's done. He is done, bud. Under 190 now. There I read the chat. The propane in the building exploded. So that was scary. Oh yeah, the fire. Fishing plant at Mobile 64. Hello, hello. 170s, 170s. One sixties. Watch this be a, a diamond smallmouth buff uh gosh dang it, smallmouth yellowfish instead of the uh, large largemouth like last time. Hundred and fifty feet on the dot. Normally never pull an all-nighter. I just wish I could get back to a normal sleep schedule. Uh, yeah. I finally got my wife into a, uh, a what I would call a normal sleep schedule. And she got mad at me about it the other day. Five bow angles members of my goodness, Gerald Bates. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. All these lucky... Lucky people. New, uh, new bow angles, green horns, I believe. Then you get goofy at 3 a.m. Fishing in Minecraft. I got plans. I got plans. Yeah, no, Andrew Baird, that definitely happens. I'll pretty much go to 100% on my drag, and if the fish doesn't stop, then I just let it spool me and it's just done. It is a large mouth yellow fish. Another bronze. That should be the last one, right? Wanted to make sure the uh, memberships were done. Ah, oh, there's one last one. Surely that's the last one now. Oh my god, there's one more. Oh my god. I would turn it off, but I have to actually let this- I have to stop fighting this fish to turn it off. No, it's not a big deal. Oh my god, seriously. How has it not been five already? It's definitely been five by now. Okay, it's over. Good deal. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was over before we got the fishing because I didn't want to, you know, miss the whole thing. It's another silver, 22 pounds. Come on! Two silver largemouth yellowfish. Uh, I don't know, man. I just don't know about these fish. 
Um, we tried the the number one spinner. It looks like a spot where golds would be. There's all these silvers. You'd think there'd be some golds in there. Don't you think? Let's try it again. You get a membership and you get a membership and you get a membership. That's very true. Gerald's Gerald's a stud for that. That's for sure. I'm still live. I am. I am still live. I was going to go till five o'clock my time, which is another 24 minutes from now. So that was my plan. Now I was going to stick to it. My wife wouldn't stop working until like 530 anyway. So it's a decent fish on the number one. on the stronger rod so we are kind of horsing it in a little bit but dude this looks like a smallmouth actually this could be a decent smallmouth yellowfish gold <laughs> let's go let's go gold gold yeah boy look how happy he nail is that's right we got a gold. We got a gold. Okay. If we got a gold, that means there could be a, a diamond in here. See you. Take care, man. Ronnie, good to see you, man. Lucky shot. Is the angler worth the money? Uh, uh, if it's on sale, probably. It's, it's very frustrating because there's a lot of things I want changed about the game. And it's not that, oh, you just have to talk to so-and-so and let us know, blah, blah. Like, these are things I, I asked them to change when the game first came out. And, uh, and it wasn't asking for much. Like, these are just standard things that are in every other fishing game out there. And, uh, and they still have not done it. And it's very frustrating to me. And so I, I'm not a hundred percent saying that you should buy it. It's free on Epic games. If you have access to Epic games, get it for free. But, uh, but I, I would still give it a good six out of 10 or something like that. Like it's a fun game. It's got gra good graphics. It's an interesting little fishing game. Um, but until they fix those things. It's just frustrating. <laughs> These were just a number of things I wrote down while I was playing the game that I got frustrated with, and I said I would get over it if I wrote it down on a note card, and I have. And so I thought I would just tell you everything I, I wrote down. I put down, the rod gets put away when you're sprinting. You can't change time. Can't fish with multiple rods. The bobber depth resets every time you take the rod out. There's no way to know if the hook size is wrong. The fish don't nibble it and swim away. Those are just the five I wrote down. There's so many others that bother me. Like when you open up your inventory, it opens up your backpack instead of the freaking rods that your, that your inventory is actually made out of. Why? If I open up my inventory, obviously I'm looking at my rods. So why does it open up my backpack that allows me to just look at the description of the rods that's an unnecessary thing in my book and it's just little things like that it's little things like that times two dozen things and they all add up into a big thing that makes me not recommend the angler it's a fun game don't get me wrong there are lots of little fun things about the game that i i do enjoy you know seeing a big fish come after the lure and finally catching that diamond that is fun. I enjoy that. But there's so many things I just wish were fixed that just aren't ever since the game came out. And so it's just, yeah, yeah it is what it is. It looks good, but the camera for first person, I you know, the first person camera's fine with me. I, I like it. I actually don't like third person games. I've never enjoyed third person games. 
Um, the only time I've ever been okay with third person games were like World of Warcraft and the old Lord of the Rings games and stuff like that. Otherwise, I usually try to avoid third person games. I really don't enjoy it. I knew a guy who got motion sickness playing first person games and so he only played. Dude, that was a good bass right there. There's bass in here too? Um, so he only played third person games because he would get motion sick playing first person games and I was just like, that's so interesting. Because I can't stand playing third person games. <laughs> Any diamonds? No, no diamonds. That's it's uh, frustrating. We've gotten some good ones. We caught a gold yellowfish. We caught a gold yellowfish, but we have not got a diamond. Further down the road, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, if you played the base game and you enjoyed it, then definitely get the DLCs and play that. So. Especially if you got Epic Games and you can play the game for free, give it a go, I would say. Don't let my, you know, weird response to it all get in your way. Look at this guy, dude. This guy's a freaking tank. Another smallmouth, I think. Ah, he could be a largemouth, actually. Yeah, he's a largemouth. See those big old lips and you know it's a largemouth. Ever since we switched to this uh, stronger rod, we haven't had to deal with their annoying fights. Lots of silver largemouth in here, man. Just depends on the frame length. Oh, you would get motion sick doing that too, huh? Just getting boring at the Congo. No, I mean, I say this all the time. I love Fishing Planet, but if it wasn't for all the videos that I've been making for the game, I would have stopped playing it a long time ago. I just, there's nothing more for me to do. There's all the little missions and stuff like that, but I don't get anything cool from the missions. Just money and XP and sometimes like X-Series gear, but I'm already at the end of the game, so why do I need X-Series gear? Um... So yeah, I would have stopped playing Fishing Planet a long time ago. I probably would have played more Call of the Wild the Angler at that point if I wasn't already making so many videos off that game. And every time I make a video about another fishing game, the first freaking comments that get added on there are, when are you making another Fishing Planet video? And so I, it's so frustrating. <laughs> the whole thing, the whole thing. Let's go. Another large mouth. Bro, maybe we need to go get a one or two aught spinner just to have something bigger. Let's do it. Let's get this in. Let's go get a bigger spinner. Oh, I was going to say, is this a gold? Right on. A nice little screenshot. All right, let's go get a bigger spinner. I'm curious. I'm curious. This is a good fishing spot. I've enjoyed this little spot right here. Up in this waterfall up top. Let's go back. We can also get a bigger hook too. Let's get like, um, let's get a one-aught hook. And let's get a one-aught, um, one-aught spinner as well. Just to, just to have something different to try. Or should we do two-aught? Hey! Hope the Abafana haven't been giving you trouble. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. We do one on. One odd or two odd. Ah, uh, maybe we'll do both. Frick, I don't know. Fishing resort on the Wii. It was a little cartoon, but there was so much depth to it. It was just so fun and chill at the same time. Right on. Oh, that's awesome. 
Well, shoot. I don't know whether to do the one R or the two R. I guess we'll get both of them. Get both of them, shoot. We just, we had $3,000. We could have bought the next rod for us, but instead we spent it on baits and stuff. Could have bought the advocate. <laughs> could have had a stronger rod, but instead we bought a bunch of baits. Um, should we go back to that spot or should we try to catch CS? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's just go back. Here. Man, I'd love to catch one. Whoa, that's a name and a half. Goodness gracious. Well, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Look at that footprint there. That's a ginormous footprint. And there's tire tracks. There's ginormous footprints and tire tracks. Bigfoot riding motocross, obviously. This map has got it all. Okay, let's do... one aught spinner. Hopefully we'll catch a big one. Is your dream job to be a streamer or your current job? No, my, my dream job would be traveling around the world going fishing. Putting putting a fishing, fishing uh, show on uh, TV or something like that. I even have it planned. I know what it's going to be too. I ain't going to tell you though because that would give away my secret. But uh, you have to have money to travel around like that. So do my job. Do uh, do my other jobs, and uh, hopefully someday we can all it can all be it can all be. Explicit's got to head out. Take care, man. Looking forward to tuning in next Wednesday. Absolutely. Well, it's a toss-up. What we'll be playing now? Excuse me. Could be playing Paul the Wild the Angler in South Africa. Could be playing some Fishing Planet. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, no. we've got our, um, we did the, did the videos in, um, in Europe. Or I guess in the UK specifically, though it wasn't as in-depth as I was hoping. I was hoping we would do more, um, but we did a little bit of did a little bit of fishing, got some pike, got some roach, that sort of thing. Um, uh, and then we went to Taiwan, did the videos there in Taiwan. Um, still have videos of the alligator gar here in the United States that we need to. Uh, need to edit and get out there but otherwise we got um our guyana trip down in south america to go after arapaima and red tail catfish and pure aiba and stuff like that and peacock bass and payara and all the all the cool fish honestly it's such a cool place um that's gonna be this next spring so we'll we'll record a bunch of stuff for that so that we can put that up on youtube and show everyone um Otherwise, yeah, got lots of stuff, man. Got got stuff going on that I can't even talk about right now. Legal, legally. I don't I need to switch spinner size. You know what we could try since we um, we changed the the time. Shoot, let's just go here. Let's do it. Wouldn't that be the greatest way to end this past 10 minutes here? 
his last 10 minutes here. Freaking cast out again and catch the diamond, uh, diamond African tiger fish. Hey, stuff at the face hole. Hey, right on, man. You do it, bro. All right. Well, thanks for being here, David. Appreciate it, man. We'll see you next time. Let's see if we can get lucky yet again. 89 feet in depth. Need to work hard to get there. <laughs> yeah. Would I ever fish in Romania? I wouldn't mind fishing in Romania. It could be cool. I, I'm honestly game for fishing anywhere. Anytime I travel somewhere, I'm immediately like looking up like what I can catch there. Because I travel a, a little bit with work. And so like anytime I'm like, they're like, hey, we have a conference so-and-so. And I'm like, okay, what can I catch there? <laughs> I'm like, can I... And I'll like look up like YouTubers and I'll look up like guides in the area. Sometimes the guides have YouTube channels that are kind of small and I'll be like, hey man, like let's do a video together or something like that. Um, so that's usually my game plan. That's how honestly how I um, how I did the Lake Tahoe lake trout fishing trip and uh, how I did the, the fishing trip in Taiwan and stuff like that. It's all doing it that way basically. We caught all those golds over here. And now we're not catching anything. How strict are most countries with fishing? Honestly, in places like um, like in Taiwan or like in Africa and stuff, they they don't even have a license. You just go fish. Um, you, I mean, it's kind of like a, like it's a survival sort of thing at that point. Though I will say, like with Taiwan specifically, like, um, as you head out into more remote places, like they still have, like, indigenous tribes that own the lakes, like technically, and so like our our um, the guy that I had met up with to fish there, he was explaining how. Like, they didn't let anyone outside of their tribe fish that lake in Taiwan. Um, like, on a boat, basically. You could fish from shore, but you couldn't fish it from a boat. Um, and it wasn't until National Geographic went there and filmed a show that they uh, became a little bit more open to people, like, going out on boats. And so, they, well, the entire, like, the, the whole reason we were able to go out there and fish for the uh, giant snakehead in Taiwan was because National Geographic went there and filmed and the tribal leaders decided that it was okay. Um, so, very interesting. It's weird to think of a place like Taiwan, you know, you look up Taiwan and Taipei and all the huge skyscrapers and stuff and you think that there's still indigenous people there that are like part of the original like tribes that came to Taiwan. Um, and like, they eat wild boars and they like eat dogs and it's just like we I have all these keychains upstairs of like a giant boar's tusk and like dog teeth on a keychain and stuff like that because like like that's just how they've survived all these years is eating all this stuff and it's weird to think of people eating dogs but to them I mean to think dogs have like a litter of puppies right I mean it makes sense it makes sense to eat a dog because they have so many dang puppies that you're as far as livestock is concerned like compared to a cow or something like that they have a lot of like you can multiply dogs very easily so it makes sense why dogs became livestock it's just from an american's perspective it sounds really messed up to eat a dog to uh, but to a native american or something like that maybe a little different
Do reeling speed two and twitch it. You think so? You twitch a spinner? I think it's because I'm using the larger hook size. When we were using a number one, we were catching all these golds that are around us right now. But I'm using a one aught, so it's a little bit different. But um, but if I switch to a number one, I'm sure we'd start catching them again. I just since we bought these larger spinners, I thought I would give them a try. But maybe I'll switch to the number one just so we can catch a fish before the live stream ends. Does that mean you have a beard? To get that wrench by your name? <laughs> spot died it, it kind of feels that way doesn't it we see them all swimming around us so there's definitely still some good size ones out here i think we just let's switch to the number one because we were catching them on that and i'm sure maybe we'll get a little bit a little bit luckier also preferably have some local connections where you go fishing and i don't want to offend the locals or get scammed yeah understandable and you know honestly the good thing about fishing people from the most part people that are big like sport fishing you know that just like to catch fish and release them they're usually um i guess pretty excited to show someone who's not from their country uh fishing it's one thing for people that like live in their town to be like, hey, you got good fishing spots? Let me know. And they're like, yeah, I'm not going to tell you my good fishing spots. Because <laughs> cause then you'll end up fishing there all the time. But for for an American to travel somewhere else, uh, like Africa or, 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 or Taiwan or UK or something like that, people are more willing to tell you because they know you're going to be leaving in a few days. And so they'll take you out and help you out in different spots. Um... And it's a pretty cool experience. But yeah, definitely check it out. Because like in the UK, I had to buy a license. Um, so you, you do have to see that. And, and another thing you'll see in the UK is even in like a public waterway, like a canal or something like that, um, you there might be a bailiff that will ask you for payment for fishing a public canal or what seems like a public canal, but is really like a almost like a privately owned by the city canal and you have to pay for the canal too on top of your license so it's a it's an interesting thing uh and it changes wherever you are but yeah a good good couple google searches will get you on the right track i see the tiger fish there i'm wondering if he's gonna get it But alas, he did not. He did not get it. Ah, is there voice chat in the angler? Uh, I don't think there is voice chat. I think I saw something about adding, like people wanted to add voice chat, but I don't think there is voice chat. Let's get one last cast in before we end the live stream. Hopefully we can catch a fish here. In fact, here, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let me, um, freaking stupid inventory. Switch to a number three here and try again. Yeah. Did you see your question? Are you gonna play Fishing Simulator 2? We uh, we did play Fishing Simulator 2 when it first came out. Um, it was okay. I don't know, I didn't play a lot of it afterwards. It just wasn't, I didn't find it that fun, I guess, but maybe we should go back to it and give it another try. I think that ever since they put out Fishing Simulator 2, they, um, 
they like started putting out more DLCs for the first fishing simulator, which didn't strike me as like a good sign for fishing simulator 2, I guess. But there we go. A little tiny tiger fish to end it, everybody. But who knows? Maybe we'll go back to Fishing Simulator 2. I know the guy who actually like owns the company that creates the Fishing Simulator games. He's a cool guy, but I just I don't think the games are that that great. I feel bad because he is a cool guy, um, but I think the games are kind of rushed and the games are so varied. Like the company also makes all those like crazy simulator. Like they make a lot of like random simulator games too, like car mechanic simulator and magnet fishing simulator and all the random stuff like that. Like their company makes games like that too. So to them, like the fishing simulator is just like a random simulator game that they're just pushing out there basically versus like fishing planet or Russian fishing or even call of the wild, the angler that actually like spends a lot of time to like make sure the game is like well created. Um, so that's, I guess that's one reason I haven't really done it. You're going to get started on dinner. Now I am also going to get started on dinner, dinner now, modern day outdoors and vids on your kitchen display while you cook. Hey, right on, man. Yeah. Get that first fishing in Formosa uh, video up and, uh, and watch the second one too. That's a good one. I really enjoyed the fishing in Formosa videos, uh, making them and, and, and how they turned out. Awesome. Anywho, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this first look at, uh, the South African reserve here and call the wild. The angler It was a fun time. I enjoy the fish here. I enjoy the fishing. Um, wish we could have, uh, figured out a diamond at some point, but it just wasn't in the cards for us, I guess. Anywho, if you enjoyed it, like it, hopefully you did. Big thanks to Carly Priv being our, our moderator for pretty much the entire live stream. This was great. Derek Malovich has been here for a good while as well. And, uh, and even David, David, the gray beard showed up and, uh, and helped us out. So, uh, big thanks to all the mods. This has been, been fantastic. I really enjoy it and I'm glad... Uh, you know, I, I took kind of a gamble doing this kind of, uh, early live stream and seeing what we could do. And, uh, I'm glad, uh, you know, everyone had a good time with it. So I really appreciate it, everyone. Dustin, thanks for the sub right at the end. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a good uh, night and we'll see you on Wednesday. Unless I decide randomly this weekend, we're going to do another live stream. We'll, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Anyway, take care. We'll see you next time. What?